Uh, we have a weatherman that is so fired. Really? We were way too busy to play this yesterday, so check this out. The Vikings are expected to introduce Allen later today. Chris, I know you were all excited about uh, him this morning, about the prospects, what he could do for the team. Oh, I am just so pumped up putting him next to what they call the Williams Wall, which is fantastic already in our defense. And Angela, how about this for a tie-in? What number does Jared Allen wear on his jersey? 69. Oh, okay. What's the current temperature outside? 69. 69. That's <laughs> an omen, a sign. Did it get 69 sacks? I don't know about that. That's a little aggressive. But yeah, it is very warm outside. In fact, this is reminiscent what? of a couple of days ago. What the hell? <laughs> what? Goodbye. So long. <laughs> Take it easy. Pack your stuff. Here's yeah. your name plate for the top of your box. Exactly. That wasn't the temperature. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he had it like 69 sacks. Yeah, we know. We know. <laughs> but can I just say something in his defense? Anytime yeah. somebody says 69, and I always in my head, you're always like, ah, I get it. You're, you're always yeah. like, ah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Wherever you are, that's going to be 69 cents, sir. I get it. I get 69. I eat you. And you. <laughs> Speaking of uh, how politically correct the, uh, the society is getting. Society. <laughs> Society. That's right. <laughs> Linda Lager. We He's have a scapegoat. Uh, listen what happened at one fine high school. Miss mm -hmm. Kristen It's as if everyone in the crowd was cheering Kristen on. And news. when she was crowned homecoming queen, everyone let her know how special she truly is. Oh no. Yep. Uh, okay. I hope they dump pig's blood on her head. <laughs> can I can I can I guess that the the queen crown they had to just cut the bottom out of a kid's wading pool and paint it gold? <laughs> Strap this to your head, dumb bellow. Come on. Well the crown was it just Pete Rose's old batting helmet? <laughs> Here we go. And we're off. Oh my god. That's Hilarious. Well, those squirt guns when the tongue hangs out, and he squirts so it doesn't get dry. <laughs> keep it wet so she could give her speech. Oh, she homecoming was... queen! Homecoming queen! That, well, that's wonderful. That, that's reserved for the cheerleader that bangs half the football team. Yes. Why are we changing the good rules? egg? Why are we changing the rules here? Special, she truly is. I feel happy about it too. Aw. Sometimes I'm so really sad, and you know, I start crying. <sighs> Tears of joy? Yeah, tears of joy, yeah. yeah. What do you think, dope? Tears of joy? Tears no, of joy? I'm, I'm retarded. It, this sucks. Right. Joy? Yeah, tears of joy, yeah. Kristen has been a part of the Alito School District ever since she was in the third grade. And even though she was born with Down syndrome, she's always just been another one of the students. She likes you whether you're pretty or not pretty, smart or not smart, you know, tall, short. Whatever color, whatever background you come from, no. she likes you. So I think that uh, the she kids is like retarded. That <laughs> so it truly has been a special and overwhelming show of friendship that the student body voted Kristen homecoming queen 2008. And when they said her name, it was like a rush of excitement exploding, and it was awesome. And I bawled my eyes out. And it was you really go, girl! I would love to know. Uh... Who lost to the waterhead? <laughs> yeah, imagine that one. Having to go home and go, I was supposed to be yeah. a homecoming queen. Some some chick named Brittany lost to the waterhead. <sighs> She's eating the crown. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You know, stop. It's, Aw, that's, that's um, nice. Uh, that's it's it's a nice feel-good story. story, but come on. She didn't sound like profoundly retarded. I, I mean, kids all happy. Although she said, yes, tears and joy. Yeah. It was tears of joy, and no, she was no, like, she was tears just, and joy. She was describing what, she, what, what came out of her face and then what she drank. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she was a, normally a lemon pledge girl. All they had was a joy chaser. <laughs> but it's nice they gave it. It's like I came in, it's, it was annoying me until I heard her talk. I'm like, uh, yeah, then, uh, whatever. Then I think it's it personalizes a big it. Big moment for her, and we're such dicks. That belongs to the hot chick. Give her, give her nothing. Yeah, give that retarded a, girl know, nothing. I, but it does belong to the hot chick. Oh, it's it's always, does. it's always been that way. Yeah, the hot chick will give it. You know what? I'm, I'm, I've changed my tack. The wow. Hot, the hot chick will never bang anybody. The retarded girl, by the way, they've <laughs> all had her. <laughs> give her the crown. Why well, she won? Let's go to Arizona. Bill, how are you? Hey, not bad. Uh, when I was in high school, our homecoming queen my senior year was this 500-pound behemoth, and I kid you not, they brought her to the dance in a truck, a pickup truck. Oh, really? 
Yes. Why? Yeah. Do they make do they make her queen as a joke, or do they all like her and just kind of feel bad for her? Uh, I I think it was just because everybody felt bad for her for some reason. I don't. I never figured out why, but. I, I imagine they've changed all the rules in school, and you know, obviously it used to be about uh, a really hot girl being homecoming queen, but I'm sure they like completely changed their criteria. Yeah, but unfortunately, and made it about something up, else. It wasn't like that. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. All right. There's uh, there's a cop that did the right thing in Times Square yesterday. I am a huh? cop, you idiot. Look, I'm and then Kenny told me an, uh, uh, another cop story that was. Uh, is he? Oh, he's getting food. Fuck. Always when we need him. Uh, but I guess there was a homeless guy. Uh, is, was it Times Square? I think it was Times Square. Yeah. And it was one of those cold days recently. He has no fucking shoes on. And the cop went into a Skechers and uh, got him fucking uh, some boots. Yeah, some cop. He's a 25-year-old cop. Um, he lives out on Long Island. He's, he's walking around Times Square. So he's this homeless guy. Mm -hmm. And the homeless guy gets up and starts walking away. And he's barefoot. It's freezing cold. And uh, he felt bad. So he goes into a shoe store. Buys a hundred dollar pair of Skecher boots. Um, I guess it, it, the store owner knew what he was doing, right? So he gave him like a twenty five percent discount on it. Oh, jeez, that's uh, nice. Yeah, that's nice. Huh? Almost. That's I, I call that almost nice. <laughs> Wait, is, is this the Skechers? Yeah, they yeah. gave him fifty percent off. Oh, fifty. Oh, 50? It was ninety nine dollars wow. shoes, and they gave them to him for fifty bucks. Wow. Well, all right, that's that's nice. And then the cop went out there and uh, you know threw cold kinda... water on the guy's feet and said, "Look <laughs> what you can't have," and knocked <laughs> his teeth out with the shoe. It was really really uncalled for. <laughs> And I uh, put the shoes on the guy and then yeah. asked him if he wants to get a cup of coffee or something to eat. And the homeless guy said, no, I'm good. Thank you so much. They went and sold the shoes and got high. That's what I told <laughs> exactly. Ann. Exactly. Uh, that's what I told Kenny, I mean, on the way in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is all nice, but we've been in this world for a while. Why doesn't he have shoes? He said he didn't like that people were laughing at the guy, which I can understand. He said people were, like, making fun of him. Well, that's just shit. Oh, yeah. That, but not how an fucked up you are. Do that. No fucking shoes in that weather is just awful. horrible. Of course, you have to uh, lose his shoes. And man. and no one is supposed to know about this. By the way, he just did it, and it was just some lady took a picture of it going yeah. down and put it on her Facebook page, and and I think the picture got hundreds of thousands of likes. Yeah, something like that. What does the story say? I think I heard over a hundred thousand likes on the mm. picture. No, four hundred thousand, yeah. four hundred twenty-nine thousand, I think. Wow, yeah. really? At the time of this this article came out, it was three hundred fifty thousand likes and eighty-five thousand shares. Ooh! All right, let's set up my next video, uh, Jesus. Sam. How many sunnies? <laughs> uh, I, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> and you were right. <laughs> let's set up the next uh, video. This one could go viral. I'm gonna find a homeless guy with no fucking shoes. And yeah, I'm gonna make believe it's all a fucking organic, natural thing. You're gonna be there with the camera, though, Sam, to capture yeah. the whole thing. It's the complete opposite of your last strategy with a homeless guy. What do you mean? Oh. You you gave him a cake and then stomped on it. Oh, oh. see now, <laughs> I would argue with the people that hate that that we made his day better that day. Yeah, who hates that? It's hilarious. There's no, there's not even any reason to argue it. Hilarious. We made his day better. It's funny <laughs> because if I didn't smash the cake. What you don't see, eh, whatever. I hate giving away our secrets. Don't pull He walked back. away with a lot of fucking money, Andrew. and and he ended up eating the cake anyway. But people don't know did. that. Yeah, he loved us for that. <laughs> what happened to him? Where did he go? I don't know. He enjoyed it. Oh, treat your because he was so generous. Yeah, but it's a stale. <laughs> well, I told you, what I'll never forget about that. Was I was think I was standing behind you. But I remember when you, you 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 jumped on the cake so completely that you skidded forward. Yeah. <laughs> I, almost, I almost broke my neck. Yeah, you almost, almost broke slid my neck. on that cake, didn't you? It was it was a jump and a a, a, a minuscule slide forward. Uh, yeah, <laughs> your feet just uh, ripped through the ice. <laughs> <laughs> and I do confess that I did that just to make uh, you and uh, Anthony oh, laugh. Oh, oh, I wasn't work. even thinking about the audience because I know these guys. When I do some of this shit, they get so uncomfortable, and I, I, I really was just seeing what your level of comfort was that day. Oh, it was I don't fucking... need to again. It's just a horrendous thing to, oh, it was to so a human uncomfortable. being. Oh, it was so uncomfortable. Really funny. Let me see, Sam. Can I... Wow, that <clears throat> looks, right, looks good, but I... Wait, go back. That was 2008, huh? Oh, Jesus. Foundry music. Oh, yes. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the That's box? a six. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, 
What is it? Wow, that right, looks good, but wait, wait, I am not sure. Yeah. Hey, put it down. No, hey, it's some kind of a cinnamon cakey thing. Oh! Poor I had to walk away. Oh, oh no! I'm leaving. Oh no! Oh look at him! Oh no! <laughs> he goes. That's oh, no. not nice. Oh, he did. I own that. And that slow motion. You see this skit forward? Yeah. I was oh, uh, obviously. Not do that. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> he did not just fucking. Oh no. You knew it was coming right when I was. Hey, let me see that. <laughs> That's <laughs> slow motion. <laughs> He's right. Mm. You slide slid forward, forward and then you slide uh, back a little bit. Oh, oh my god. That was terrible. That was definitely not right. That's terrible. He did get a, a tremendous amount of money after oh, that, though. Yeah, Everybody yeah. handed him fucking. He probably walked away with $100. Yeah, he could have <laughs> bought fucking, fucking 500 more cakes. Way yeah. more than 100. Maybe more I than gave 100 myself. He got a couple really hundred bucks. Yeah. Easily a couple hundred I bucks. I earned that God. cake. Fucking video. You have the weirdest voice. I, I treat earned. yourself. That was 2006? Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's six years ago. The fuck? Really? God yeah. Damn. Wow. He might be dead. Never yeah. know what those uh, homeless... Yeah, he was forced to do the homeless shopping spree. He didn't show up that day. And I think we saw him one more time after that. Yeah, we don't go that way anymore is the problem. I wonder if he's still around. He disappeared from that area. What about the homeless we that way? Yeah. The homeless guy, the, the cross dressing homeless guy. Is oh, he still I see yeah. him every once in a while. He was scary. Really scary. He would wear high heels and, and uh lipstick and his, his nails were done, but then he looked like a typical homeless guy. And man, as soon as you approached him, he he went all fucking ballistic every fucking time. Remember we wanted to play homeless roulette and yeah. <laughs> see who we went after? Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's a bit scary. Whatever happened to Van Halen? Remember they were postponing? I know. And we were the ones that said, ah, ah, that's going yeah, bye-bye. They never came back. Never. We never saw that coming either. No, we didn't see that one coming. Another thing no one saw coming, Opie. Huh? The homeless guy walking around Times Square without his fucking oh, boots Oh, that's on. the one. Thank you. Yeah. We, we said it. We absolutely said this And everyone's fucking... like, hey, you fucking assholes. Why can't you have a heart and fucking... Because we're realistic. Cute story. I mean, this homeless guy in Times Square. We've seen it many, many times. Yeah. What? He's in Times Square. He's homeless fucking guy got is, no uh, shoes on. Has no shoes again. He's freezing. He's walking around with no shoes. And this uh, 25-year-old NYPD guy, cop, he uh, goes up to him. Talks to him a little bit, then walks in a place, buys some boots for the guy, and gives them to him. He puts them on, and it, uh, somebody took a picture of it. It, it w went viral, and uh, everybody's like, this is such an amazing story of people helping. And you know. <clears throat> and we saw it a mile away. It's like, oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Wait till these fucking people that don't realize what the real world is like get all disappointed. Because, as I said, homeless people are not movie homeless people. They're not these wise folks that decided to be uh, free spirits and not uh, live in the system. They're not these vagabonds who um, <laughs> are college educated yet fell through some cracks in the... Joe they, Pesci? Joe uh, Pesci? Things the like Harvard that. One? The Harvard one? Right, Anyone? right. Jimmy, with things uh -oh. like that. With Brendan Fraser, I think it was? They're not, um, they're not lovable. Thing. They are mental patients. Run amok on the streets. So he either got rid of the shoes because they, they, they were evil... Or he got rid of the shoes because he could get a few bucks for it to get the some booze. Fucking or bum a, or, sold him. or another bum <laughs> took it off his feet because yes. his shitty shoes were horrible. But I think he, he was wearing say, plastic bags for fucking shoes. I think he would say if they got stolen. What he said was he has them, but he hid them because he could get killed for wearing them. Liar, liar. No, no, no. Your disgusting, smelly pants on fire. That's sort of true. Remember when we oh, I know. sent our homeless but, back on the street with brand new starter jackets and oh, brand new sneakers. And but that remember, was Ziggy. We, we uh, got Ziggy a report was, uh, that everything was taken. Ziggy was the wounded fucking uh, zebra calf. The, the foal. The little zebra colt at the watering hole. But that guy looked like a guy that... And put it this way, every homeless guy isn't walking around without shoes because they get them stolen. Every homeless guy that I've seen has shoes. This no. guy this guy doesn't want to fucking wear shoes. I see the guys with the, the plastic bags for shoes. Yeah, well, they're crazier than the ones that have shoes. We have Ziggy singing Silent Night. So, Silent Night. Ziggy, do you, do you know?
you know any Christmas songs? Yeah, I know it's good to sing. I like all of them. You want to yeah. you want to sing one real fast for us? Like this guy's dead, by the way. Right, yeah. Let's go. Silent night. All right. Holy night. All is calm. All is bright. I didn't have him pegged as an alto. Round <laughs> yon virgin <laughs> mother and child. Holy infant so tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. <laughs> That's a cat. Sleep in heavenly peace. All right. Let's hear it for Ziggy, huh? That was any W or here? I don't remember now. And you remember? Uh, any that, W. That was had to be any W. Yeah. Yes. Because, you know, we don't do the homeless shop experience anymore. It was too successful. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Remember the homeless shopping spree? Yeah. Huh. Remember, remember how that. successful that was? Huge. Well, regular radio killed that. Um, I don't want to give up one of my Dave hearts. I don't want to give uh, up. But you know who agreed with her? Fucking dumb Chiasano let her do it. So it isn't just her fault. It's Chiasano. But what? that was my fucking turning point with her. I hated her Where for I was that. like, fuck. And I didn't like her right from the start. Just because she was a woman, I didn't think she belonged in a man's job like that. That a boy, Anthony. But <laughs> furthermore, yeah, she didn't get the show. She didn't understand what made the show successful in the past. And uh, fuck her mother. God. I also think that was Tom wanting that done, and she was the axe man. Get out, Tom. God, look at the videos online. Yeah. We had so many people at the malls. Well, then they, they decided to make it go away on satellite radio, too. Yep, to the famous away. Costco story, which makes me oh, laugh. And then God. if you laugh at that, they get mad. Yeah, They actually get mad that we thought that was a ridiculous idea. It's fucking stupid. We could have them go into the first floor of Woolworths. No, this was Costco. <laughs> I know, yeah. Uh, but uh, but the, the, the real story is even funnier than what you just did. They want us to take our great event, Homeless Shopping Spree, Go to a Costco when it wasn't open. Right. And let the homeless people run around a, a, a Costco that's not open yet. That without takes, the listeners, by the way. It takes away from the entire <laughs> gist well, it's taken of every, the event. It's taking every element away from every the event. Every element. And then, them shopping isn't the thing. It's, then, it's not just them shopping. And then we laughed, and it got back to this person, and got really mad well, that we laughed at his idea. Well, I remember that was the last time I got invited to a sales meeting, because I remember oh. sitting in the meeting, and he pitched the idea, and I said, so what? Then, like, one of us would call the show and be like, you wouldn't believe the size of paper towel rolls that this guy's picking up? <laughs> and he was like, well, I'm just coming up with ideas here. Bad ones. <laughs> and that was it for me at the meeting, because then I went on the air and told you well, guys all the that. Yeah. Uh, let it go for now. He's all fine now. He's all right. He's that's blue he's dead too blue's Who's dead too blue died yeah so why well, am i shocked blue who else uh, ziggy blue, ziggy tippy obviously of course, tippy. Tippy. tippy tom yeah yeah oh boy God, i thought obama was gonna take care of all these folks has anybody here seen my old friend tippy tom can you tell me where he's gone that's... He grossed out a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, the homeless guy, he's uh, shoeless again after all that. Yes, he. Um, the, here's a... my take on it. He sold the fucking shoes. Or, or, they... or traded them to one of his fucking cronies for uh, some booze or yeah. some drugs. But he also knows that they will be taken from him from other homeless people. So Maybe, but I don't Possibly. think so. All I right. think he sold them. That, that, there's too much thought behind that. There's too much thought. He wouldn't w purposefully be uncomfortable by not wearing shoes, have the shoes, yet hide them to keep them from being stolen. He'd wear them until they got stolen. Because the bottom line is, if they get stolen, what happens? You're walking around without shoes. Right. If you hide them, you're walking around without shoes. Right. He's not hiding them. He's not hiding them. There's no way to hide them up his ass. He's stupid, crazy He's bum. He's a crazy bum. He's got two fucking kids. I guess uh, in their 20s, a son and a daughter that, you know, have to deal with the fact that their father's a bum. Fuck him. The cop tries to do something good. Good. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. I'll tase you, beat you with a club, and then shoot you. <laughs> it's NYPD credo, by the way. Why don't we talk about WGN News? These people are terrific. Uh, that's funny. We had such great stuff today. We didn't even uh, get to the story of the day until right now. WGN News. Chicago, right? Yeah, I think so. Chicago. Chicago. 
they're doing their news report, and a plane crashes. Oh, I saw this. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, yes, yes, yes. well, the news anchors... Uh, What's it, what they have is a helicopter shot. Right. Yep. Of a plane crashed on a major highway. In the middle highway. of the street. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Pretty dramatic stuff right there. It's unbelievable. It is. All right, let's go back to that picture from Skycam 9. Again, a small plane crash on King Drive near about 29th Street. It's like a small single-engine plane here. These are our first pictures, folks, so bear with us. We're not getting much information um, from anyone yet. We're going to try and zoom in. We're trying to figure out if, um, if there were any... Yeah, you okay. see it's the lower on the lower left hand side of your screen. If a uh, sky cam uh, can tilt down, there's a wing. Is that on top of a car there, Larry? Can you see? Yeah, there it is. Wow. And there's, see it? Oh, it looks like a giant hole in the middle of the street. Oh my! Yeah, we are not. We haven't seen any ambulance here. We see a fire truck. Is it? I'd... Sounds fucking crazy, right? I love. I love watching local news. This is. Uh, wow, that sounds like an amazing event. And what a scoop, you. too. Yeah. You know that. Um, you know, our, our dear friend, we haven't talked about her in a while, Pat Battle. <laughs> she is a very good news anchor. Oh. She truly is one of the best locally in New York. Mm -hmm. But she's such a monster that they put her on weekends in the morning. <laughs> and that just makes me laugh really a hard. A monster. Yeah. Because they know that they can't put her on the prime time yep. because she's not pretty enough. Nope. So they get these pretty... Pretty ones that are just Sorry. so dumb. Hey, it's fucking to do the prime time because it's fucking uh, entertainment. You know, you don't you don't cast Pat Battle to be a leading lady in a rom com, <laughs> unless of course it's fucking Queen Latifah. For some reason <laughs> they've dubbed her as attractive and uh, suitable for a leading lady, where the where the 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 star basketball player goes for her. Yeah. Shut it. It's she looked good. That wasn't believable to you. No. It wasn't. <laughs> All right, so plane crash. The news picks up on it. They got a chopper on the scene. They're trying to get more info. They're all in, man. This is All great. Right. This is great for them, right? Let's hear uh, the rest. I don't know. I hate to tell the cameraman what to do when he's out there, but is there are there any ambulances on the scene? I know we saw a fire truck there. I'm just, yeah, there's a couple of ambulances there. We don't see a lot of frenzied activity around the plane, so um, there are injuries. Maybe the injured parties have been taken to the ambulance already. Hey, big. Uh, we are, are just getting me? word that this is being uh, shot for, as part of a TV show. They might want to tell. Ah, you fucking idiots! <laughs> uh, what a scoop! We're not really seeing any activity. Yes, but there's a lot of cameras and a director, yes. and they're recrashing again. They're set they're setting up. Um, oh, oh, there's a God. little a little uh, tent for food. The craft service seems to be. Um, is being uh, shot for, as part of a TV show. So are you, you kidding? Are. They might want to tell the news folks when they're doing Why? this. Why? Why? Do your fucking Brent. job, you dummy. Me? They have played. Are sound you effects. kidding me? Twenty ninth and King Drive. It's okay. It's all for a TV show, even so though really, you see that plane in the road. It's a good news story, which is what the people have, are always looking for. And oh, you boy. made me rush through the weather. In the end, we are brought it to you. Are you kidding me? The weather guy's I, mad. I, I scared myself the weather. there. It was a little scary. It's all okay. And the weather guy's mad? You made me rush through the weather? No there, one watches your weather, he's dummy. He's mad at those two assholes. He's tired of them. Yeah. If there's any question as to whether or not the news double checks things before they go on Holy the air with them. Shit. Oh, of course any... not. There's a, a wing on a car. Oh, no one's <laughs> over by it. No one's there. There doesn't seem oh. to be any uh, rescue equipment. No f uh, firefighting uh, equipment deployed <laughs> no. around. The no. Nah, a bunch <sighs> of dummies. A lot of they're really lighting it up too. Even though it's daytime, I yeah. don't understand why so much light. You like the weather on the TV? It's useless. What about the traffic on the TV? Useless. Mm. There's There's no, appear to be any victims. Oh, here they come walking towards the plane. Yeah, the thing into position. They're laying them back down around <laughs> the plane for some reason. This could be some new type of triage that they do. Uh, it's very serious, though. We'll we'll keep you um, posted. Yes. Oh man. They're setting fires it's around the victims. Broken the pavement. Why would they set the fires? <laughs> <laughs>
We're um, on scene here. There seems to be an imperial walker uh, <laughs> standing here with um, rebels uh, running about. It's insane. I don't know what's going on. See that guy in the Dominican Republic on that talk show, that magician? And the oh, host yeah. comes over and just lights his fucking head on fire. Is it real? Yes. It's I mean, was sick. It, what I meant was, was it part of the trick? No, the guy was a magician, but the show host comes over, douses his fucking head with apparently some kind of cologne they use in Santeria. Okay. And then lit his head on fire. And the guy's head is fucking in flames. Wow. And they're putting his head out, and his whole face was burned and shit. Why did the guy do it? I have no idea. Let me see that, Sam. This Turn it this way. You up. ain't home. <laughs> oh, shit. Cameraman! I know. Okay. No, it's not. It caused damage. Oh, my God. Are you all right? Your face? Your face is burnt. Face is burnt. Se quemó la cara. Fuck. Tenemos que llamar eh, un médico. Un médico. Un médico. Se quemó. This fucking asshole put the camera down. Yeah. I, that's why I Fuck. think it might be fake. No, no, it's it's I, absolutely real. I mean, his hair was absolutely on fire. No, 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 no. I feel like no they're, they're, they, they show his head and his face when they pull it up, and it's not. And it's pretty bad. It's not makeup or anything. I mean, it's. Why the really fuck right. did the guy? He's just, you know, he's just people panicking. do that. They panic when something happens. No, but somewhere there is a hard cam shot of it. It's gotta be right. So why isn't that online? I don't know where it is. I guess they don't want it online. <laughs> look, look, his head, hair's burnt off the top of his head, and he's all fucking. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be so fine. Red. Mm. Yeah, shouldn't his head look a little worse than that, Ant? I don't know, dude. I don't know. He's unbelievable. He's fucked up. I have to go to a hospital. I absolutely yeah. believe that happened. Yeah, that's not how you'd play it if you were acting it. I have to go yeah. to a hospital. Real quiet. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I guess there's a lawsuit thing happening. Oh, there is. Too. I yeah. hope so. That's one where yeah, you can right? see the lawsuit. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess it's real because the guy's uh, being prosecuted for attempted murder. <laughs> so, is it? <he? laughs> no. Just when that camera goes from the action to the floor is always suspicious to me. That's what was why. happening right before that? Did he say, I'm going to show you a trick? Or... I don't know. Nobody really knows. Some say it was an unscripted prank gone wrong. Others say it was an That's attempted exorcism gone prank. wrong. I would probably the guy was going for a moment. Like, you know, I, I, I could do this. <clears throat> yeah. But I'll just surprise him with it. And oh, then, yeah. And then it went wrong. It was like that prank that guy pulled in Kansas City in the parking lot. <laughs> The guy's going to teach us about great parrots. Oh. That wasn't a prank. No, of course not. <laughs> yeah, we should talk about that. You want to learn about great parrots, even though we fucking... Great know. parrots? This guy's going to teach oh, us. Oh, I know a lot about them. Dustin oh, in Iowa. Okay. All right, well, when you're done, call back. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a new one. That's a good one. <laughs> that's that's so, a new one. Dude, I am wiped out. You're tuckered out. Oh, I'm right. tired, man. Hear about the uh, the the teen and the judge? Uh, the one that was flipping the uh, bird? Fucking classic. Yeah. Do I, we have the video, or should I play it from here? There is video. I want to see the video. I, I saw oh, they, it's classic. They've been playing it on the uh, news this morning, but I haven't heard the audio. I saw the video. Right. She's a little bitch that uh, decides she's going to flip the judge off. Right. He doesn't take kindly to that. But, Lindsay, this is amazing to me. Like, this Her, girl's obviously snotty, but Lindsay yeah. Lohan has fucking been such a pig right. for so long, she never goes to jail. No. no How is it the same system? I, I think they're... I, I think uh, they're, they're giving this little uh, girl, because she flipped the finger, 30 days. Yeah. Yeah. 30 days in the and hole. And Lindsay Lohan is, uh, yeah, Jimmy's right, has done all sorts of shit. She should easily nice. be doing 30 days, if not a lot more. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Let's see. Uh... Mediate. Oh, could you pull that? Uh, oh, in Minnesota, you're being charged with possession of Sanax. Sanax. Uh, B-A-R-S. I don't know what that is. What is that? Xanax. Xanax bar. Pause. Xanax bar. Oh, boy. The judge doesn't know what Xanax is? Xanax. He's old. Xanax bars. Yeah. Huh? Xanax bars. Those are the big three milligram ones. Yes. Yeah. He didn't know it. Where Xanax is, bars. Where is this? Florida. Wait, what's a Xanax uh, bar? I don't know that either. That's the big three milligram ones that you snap, get one, get take, two, or you could just take the whole three. And what happens with the whole three? Woohoo! 
Rock and roll? Woo. Rock and roll. Like all fucked up and shit. She's smiling, too. Yeah, she'd be laughing. She's having a good time in court. All right, I understand you handed your work for a full service. Yes. You're in the only... Uh, no objection. She has no priors. She's oh. being charged per pill, which is improper. It should just be one count. So, so are you working? Yes. How much money are you making a week, approximately? Approximately about 200 bucks a week. Okay, and do you own any property of value? A house, a car, bank account, significant amounts of jewelry? Yes. What do you own? <laughs> I own a lot of jewelry, all right. A lot of jewelry. As well as... Okay. Go ahead. Car. Well, how, um, how, how, how much you, would you say your jewelry is worth? <laughs> it's not a joke, you know. We are not in, we are not oh in my a God, club. she's just. We are not in a club. Be serious about it. I'm serious about oh, it. You just made me laugh. I can see you're serious, all right. You just made me laugh. I apologize. It's all right. How much is your jewelry worth? It's worth a lot of money. Like what? Like Rick Ross. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like. She said like, like Rick, Rick Ross. Ross. Yeah, Bouse. she is a dummy. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, is she stupid? Nice. <laughs> it's worth money. Have you had any kind of drugs in the in the last twenty four hours? Oh my god. Actually, no. Actually, no. Judge, I'll, I'll make it easy for the court. Respectfully, <laughs> I would set the appointment at this time. No, no, I'm going to appoint you because you own a lot of mo substantial amounts of jewelry. You can go and sell your jewelry. Oh, jewelry for a private attorney. What is the standard bond? It should be. Ain't going to be no PTS. Okay, five thousand on count one, and then the rest should be. Our Wait, pause life. that real quick. Did he say you can go sell your jewelry for a private attorney? For a private attorney. So you won't give her a... They won't give her a public defender. Um, She's got a yeah. real case here. He's trying to help her out a little bit. <sighs> he's fucking her by doing he's that. He's fucking her. Yeah. yeah he's, he's fucking, fucking her because he's saying you're not, we're not going to give you a free lawyer. He goes, you got a car, you got jewelry. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Oh, so this is a hearing to, uh, to get some... Um, a, yeah, a but she, she's handling this terribly. I apologize. Oh, is she ever? Oh, boy. This, this judge... Uh, you know, he's not trying to. I, I, she's just fucking this up. <laughs> she time. really right, is right, fucking right. this up. If she was cool, he probably would have said, "Ah, fuck, we'll get you an attorney." Maybe, yeah. Or she said, "That's nah, not worth that much." It's right. Yeah, okay. All right. But if she has Rick Ross level jewelry, uh, she'll be able to afford no to turn by now. What is Rick Ross uh, level jewelry? I mean, Rick Ross is a boss, so he's got like a lot. Of yeah, that guy's got like fucking five hundred dollars worth of rings and stuff. Oh, yeah. Could, yeah. Could be yeah. fucking well, more. somewhat more than that. Perhaps. Oh hell yeah. Bye bye. Adios. Uh oh. <laughs> He's laughing. Come back, ma'am. Oh, Come back. Shit. Uh, see. Pause. Come back. Give me the paper. She was she was done. She was done. And he laughed, but, uh -oh. but then he's thinking, wait, I'm laughing, but I am the judge. He hates I, her. Now I gotta fucking do oh, something. Oh boy. Is he, is he but like he was a, laughing. He sounds like an accent. Uh -oh. Is he like an old Cuban or a Spanish guy? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. he's, he's guy. A, a guy that doesn't fuck around. He's definitely a Spanish dude. And what is she? She's, she's Hispanic. Hispanic ish. They both seem maybe Cuban. Yeah. All right, let's oh, yeah. go. Judge uh, brings her back. Put it again. Now she's got her uh, hands up like, oh my god. Count one would be ten thousand. Oh shit! Wait, pause. What? Count one, ten thousand dollar bail. Yeah, he just bumped the bail up way high. From yeah, what, what, what was originally? Five, five grand. Now it's ten grand. Oh, now she's like, what now the fuck? Like, now she's all <gasps> serious and shit. I guess he didn't like her kind of laughing, going adios. adios. Right. She's being a little cunt. Right. Go back slightly and let's. Oh uh, man. We'll, we'll let it roll out. Oh man. All right. <clears throat> Come back, ma'am. Come back. Oh shit. Here comes Come the back. hammer. Give me the paper again. The hammer. Come one would be ten thousand. Still laughing. Are you serious? I am serious. Adios. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh. And he just gave her Come the, back again. Pause. Oh, <laughs> shit. This is why. Oh, this, shit. Yeah, this is why everyone's talking about the video, and, and it's a visual. So he says adios, you know, mocking her adios. And as she walks away, she gives the fucking finger. Uh, flips what him the bird and says, little, fuck you. What, and did says, she yeah. say fuck yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, wow. And why is this all beeped out? It's on Mediaite. 
Uh, this All is the from news ABC stuff, News. Yeah, I checked com. around. Oh. They it's may either, get it that way from the court. It's either beat or completely <coughs> dumped out. Yeah. Wow. So now he's like, come back again. Oh, mm -hmm. he's not going to be happy now. Nope. If he wasn't happy with Adios, nope. he is not going to be happy with uh, flipping you. the bird to fuck you. Yep. Oh. Come back again. Everyone's laughing. Bring him back again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now she's not What's smiling. I What's believe up? I heard you saying to... Yes, I did. I'm not going to do I, I believe you... Did you say... Yes, I did. Me? Actually, I did. Did you say that? Yes, sir, I did. Oh, you did say that? I'm not I find you in direct criminal contempt. 30 days in the county jail. Okay, that's yes, fine. Sir. 30 days in the county jail. I believe that she is represented by the public she defender. No no it's not being represented by the public defender. Okay. And no public defender? Mm hmm. He said no public defender. Right. Wow. Holy Gotta shit. Gotta use some of that Rick Ross fucking Good. jewelry yeah. money. You say fuck you to a judge? Like, like she, she, couldn't, she couldn't have dug her hole any deeper by being yes. a cunt. Right. You know what? When, you, when you're in those situations in court, believe me. You don't oh, you want to fucking. Some shit, but. You don't want to sit there and fucking have to eat shit, but that's the position you're in. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, Your Honor. You fucking sit there. You smile. Thank you for fucking me over. Uh, wow, she really fucking dropped the ball there. Wouldn't she have been out with five thousand dollars in bail and, <coughs> and yeah, and uh, or five thousand dollar bail and and fucking uh, a public defender if she wasn't so stupid? If she wasn't a dummy. Um, is there anything else left on that? Not what a that was rat. pretty much it. Yeah. Damn. Uh, that judge uh he didn't, didn't want fuck any, around. any of her shit. I don't want any of your fucking shit. Mm. You think that attitude's gonna serve her well in jail for thirty days? Mm-hmm. She'll probably do okay in jail with that attitude, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Probably fight. So what would it have been? No jail time. No right? jail time. Oh, I mean, five, she would have been in five thousand to get uh, bail. Now, then it went to ten thousand, and now thirty days in jail. And ten thousand. <laughs> yeah. And, and no more. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. <laughs> what? Thousand cash. She been out with. Yeah. For bail. Did she do the thirty days though? Oh She'll yeah. Do all thirty? You think? Sure. No. Yeah, and they month, said a month. He wasn't giving her time served. Wow. Oh, you said that. Mm hmm. He uh, didn't like her. Oh, well. No, she was being a little snot, and he fucking smashed her. She's going to have her fucking face buried in some big fat bitch's pussy. They'll like her, huh? Oh, yeah. You like that, don't you? You like that. Uh, we got Justin Bieber. We Ant doesn't want us to forget this one. Oh, no. There's some kind of... Uh, there was a prison scheme brewing. Yeah, some guy in prison wanted to castrate uh, Justin Bieber there, Show David him. Tell. I know, you're, I know you're a big fucking Bieber. Bieber fan, And man. this isn't just prison scuttlebutt. They actually went down and uh, and arrested these guys, right? Uh, yeah, I guess arrested there's a phone prison. call. That, the phone call's being released now, I think. Yeah? yeah? I think that's what we're hearing. Is now. that what we have? Yeah. I think so. Ooh. For the first time, we're hearing the chilling phone calls that chilling. outline in graphic detail a plan to kidnap and kill pop star Justin Bieber. The calls originated from a prison near Las Cruces back in November, and the bizarre plot made national headlines. Action 7 News reporter Laura Terrain has the story. New attempt. Do you go over the Bieber thing with you? No. -uh. No. No. Like the way I work, dude. The way I work is I like to know as little as possible. Police say that first voice is inmate Dana Martin speaking to hitman Tanner Ruane in Vermont. Oh. He's gonna use one of the things you gave him to get him out of this, and then he's gonna go take care of it. Take care of it. Authorities say means to murder and. We went and we bought some. Uh, you know the. Hedge clippers. Castrate mega pop star Justin Bieber and his bodyguard in New York City. You're going to give me five large for each one I get. Police say 45 year old Martin, who is doing time for the murder and rape of a 15 year old girl, concocted the plan to kill the singer. Cock. We're told Martin directed a former jailhouse friend, Mark Stakey, and his nephew Tanner Ruane using these code words. You're just going to kill the pit bulls and uh, you're going to castrate him. The pit bull meaning Justin Bieber. What? Martin also instructed the hitmen how to suffocate their victim with his signature paisley scarf. Tied it really, really tight. Knot it in the front once, really tight, and put it in a knot. That cuts off the oxygen, and then you tie it in the back again, really tight, and that uh, just seals the deal. But before the two men could travel from Vermont to New York to, quote, seal the deal, they were caught by Border Patrol after taking a wrong turn into Canada. Ah, now both Ruane and Stakey face multiple charges. Stakey. Well, terrain, KOAT, Action 7 mm -mm. News. This guy in jail should yeah. just, they, they should, the state should just kill him. 
Jim, he can be rehabilitated. He's in jail for murdering and raping a 15-year-old, and he's trying to have another fucking, like, a 17-year-old murder. He should just be fucking beaten to death Have you heard jail. Justin's music? Yeah. <laughs> I have to like it very much. It's catchy, right? Yeah, sitting on a so, sit in front of a fire eating fondue. I Watch his documentary and then see what your opinion is. Why does this guy in prison uh, live? Well, he should be killed. Yeah, he should be he's, killed. It's, it's an attempted murder. He should absolutely. He's a fucking. He's absolutely valueless. He has zero redeeming social value, as Thurgood Marshall would have said. He should just be killed. Yeah, I like uh, how they bleeped out the brand of the. Uh, Hedge clipper, or whatever. <laughs> but he had to strangle a guy with a paisley scarf. That went through. That was, that was, that was classic. <laughs> what, a, what a brands of hedge clippers. Whatever they are, right? <laughs> what are these places to get the fucking hedge clippers? Craftsman. Craftsman. <laughs> craftsman. Home Depot. Would you go with the craftsman? <laughs> get not craftsman because if it snaps, <laughs> yeah. they replace craftsman tools. Well, that would you be just good. have to bring it good in. They're guaranteed for life. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh fuck! I love a good craftsman tool. Mm. Well, wow. So what? Uh, what, what can you say? Right? What That's are they about doing? it. Are they? Uh, They're arresting those guys. But Justin, you got some charges assume, at him. You know, he's got like a huge wall of security around him. You know, like his uh, yeah. own personal army. Definitely. Of people. You know, giant black men. That right. I hang around to beat up anybody that comes close to him. Old Has NFL he commented? Lineman. Has no, he commented on right. this? Comment? They won't. They made some generic comment, comment about the safety. No. Yeah. <clears throat> They're committed to keeping Justin and his fans safe. You know, real generic comment. You think he, like, washed his balls extra special that night? <laughs> yeah. Just, like, looking down at him going, oh, good boys. I almost lost you guys. Did they say <laughs> ten, ten large a piece, meaning for each nut? Was it, it five? Was five, it was five. Five grand? Five grand. Five and ten, nut? ten grand to yeah. bring the... Bring you guys the paid balls less, of Justin Bieber. You guys paid less <laughs> to have two guys fucking throw yeah. their dignity on the ground in front of their wives. Fucking <laughs> ruin their they wives. were virtually castrated. Yeah. Another cool. yeah. He needed his balls for like some weird potion to get out of jail, like an inviso. <laughs> in inviso. <laughs> Invis he could just walk right past the guards. <laughs> some invisible. hobbit kind of. He's uh, a warlock. Amazing. Yeah, some yeah. amazing <laughs> Bieber balls. He met a voodoo <laughs> black man in prison with a baseball bat. Yeah. <laughs> get me the balls of yeah. Justin Bieber. Eva Mun. <laughs> I need some scooter pies. Yes. You know, like all that prison food. Get some ramen noodles and the balls of beef. I need Nicolas Cage's original hair from the top of his head. <laughs> or maybe it's something totally worthless. Like they just make great iced tea. <laughs> hey, this is great iced tea. <laughs> Bieber balls. They're a little ball balls. But it's good. <laughs> God, well, bringing him back. Yeah, that guy go. should absolutely be killed by the state. He should be just killed. Yeah. Like, wiped out. Maybe they were just bored in prison. prison. Just fucking bored. <laughs> yeah, dude. It is It is just bored. What do you, if They're you, just bored and going, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. Let's get some shit going on here. Yeah. They know it'll probably never happen. Mm. I think Justin is uh, living on borrowed time now. Oh. I think he really should cross off his bucket list of other amazing things well, he could mm -hmm. do. I mean, yeah, One Direction is taking his heat. He's hit the... Uh, I think you can't get any higher on Twitter now, right? No. So he's that guy. That's he, it. Is he and, bigger more than Lady Gaga? Yeah, yeah he, was, he beat her. He's now number one, but well, Lady Gaga will come back strong. We know it. Once he changed his hairstyle, he actually beat her. He's oh, going that's to all influence it was. the Pope, the next Pope. Mm. Like He probably could pick it as oh, like a wild nice. card. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like if there's a tie, they go to Beaver. Pope Beaver. <laughs> so what's going on with this cop? I'm a cop, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what a creepy story. The headline again on the paper? For the people meet, just tuning in, meet the wife. So he's an NYPD guy, and uh, six-year veteran. Yeah, he's into cannibalism. Has he actually eaten any? Uh, no. Oh. Well, oh. this show has. So we're up on we're one up on the NYPD. That is, we are up one up on him in the cannibalism category. Hey. We did have cannibalism at NEW. Mm. What was it? A little tube, one of those little uh, spermy tubes. Oh right, right. Somebody had a uh, stockbroker Dave had a Stock vasectomy. Right. And uh, they, he took home the little piece of the Vassa tube, <laughs> right. and uh, somebody ate it on a cracker for tickets. Uh, it's Aerosmith. Oh, uh, Aerosmith, right. Yeah, I remember like it was yesterday on yeah. the Ritz cracker. So you, we did have cannibalism. Do you understand yeah. how fucking weird radio is? Somebody <laughs> ate a guy's <laughs> cock vein to go see Aerosmith. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, we did that. Vast difference. Yeah, we uh, somebody went down to the to where this whole procedure was going on. We grabbed it. Dave didn't bring it to the studio. Yeah, 
they handed it over to one of our uh, one of our guys, and they brought it back uh, to New York. Yeah, are those two brothers? I don't know. The sound yeah. editing guys with the long hair. Hey, Opie, I didn't I know heard, you. Oh, Jesus, I, of course I got that. Oh, of course I got it for the producer of fucking Argo. Uh, of course Argo. I got that. <laughs> the guy from fucking True Lies. <laughs> hey, Anthony, I didn't know. <laughs> Shut up. I told that before uh, we came back. I didn't even want to deal with Twitter yesterday because of just one idiot. Really? Mm -hmm. It's not even about, I mean, the haters are going to hate no matter what the fuck you do, but I just can't. I can't deal with just stupid people. This guy writes, Opie, did Opie really ask if it used to be windy when Lincoln was alive? And he meant it. So I wrote, yes, it was a dumb joke, you stupid fuck. And then I just turned off my Twitter for the day. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, you made me turn off my Twitter for the day. I was going for a dumb joke. Whether it worked or not, it is up to the audience. Mm. But I, I, he thought, I, I was wondering if it actually was windy during Lincoln's time. It's a dumb joke based on the stupid big hats they used to wear, meaning it would be a pain in the ass to wear those things if it, if it was windy. They just don't seem to understand. <laughs> Holy fuck. Fuck! I began blocking people that uh, say, why, I'm not, why are you not in bed? Why are you not asleep? Don't you have a show to do tomorrow? <laughs> those people, I've gotten so annoyed with that. And it's no big deal, obviously, but I've just, it's one of those things I've gotten so annoyed with. You know, it's one in the morning and stuff, and I'm tweeting stuff, laying in bed, watching TV, waiting to go to sleep. And, you know, I might just think of something and tweet it. Shouldn't you be asleep? Don't you ever show it? All right, mommy. Oh. Shut it. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder where all that's going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where is this going? I wonder where it's all going. They gotta yeah. figure that, They got to figure that shit out. Well, they can do. It's just the public forum. I yeah. mean, it'll never change. It will never change. It is simply the public forum. I mean, mm, you know. yeah. Some people. Uh, I think it's up to the what they call celebrities to leave instead well, of they you are know, too. thinking the general public. Yeah, they have. They absolutely are. Absolutely are. And and you know the celebrities have been you know pushing Twitter forward. Yeah, the you celebrities made it, Twitter pretty fucking. I'll, you, you see it all the time. I mean, guys like Chris Brown, because they're d damaging themselves, because they that can't shut up. Fucking, um, Donald Trump recently tweeted, he's like, if, you, if they don't, you know, take care of, I, I, I can you find his tweet, maybe? I don't want to, like, uh, what's his name? Misrepresent fucking... but he basically said, if they don't figure this shit out, you know. What's you to figure out? He fuck. he's basically done the same thing to, to other, like, he wants to <laughs> attack everybody he wants to attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, yeah. I have no problem with Trump attacking people, but he doesn't like hearing it on Twitter. <laughs> then don't be in a public forum like that. It's what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Or just don't read your at mentions. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh... He doesn't have to read his at mentions. Uh, oh, what's his name from fucking Punked? You know, he used to be a uh, Ashton. Ashton Kutcher used to be on Twitter all the he time. Used to be a big one, and but he then just he fucking... fucked up, right? And he was a baby boy who couldn't handle and just tell people, oh, "Sorry, I fucked up. I said something I didn't mean." Like you know, what I mean the paternal thing. Yeah, little yeah. fucking celebrity pussy mm -hmm. that ran to his fucking publicist. Can you tweet me? I made a mistake. <laughs> you fucking jizz bag. <laughs> Just fucking write for yourself. <laughs> oh, yuck. Yeah. Uh, Opie has nothing to say on this topic, considering he took a check from uh, Ashton Kutcher's people recently. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just fucking right. <laughs> he uh, did a little something for their production company. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. But you know what I'm saying. It's Dude, like, I'm, just, it's, I, I'm totally joking. But these guys, like... Uh, they get into a little controversy. Yeah, and he, again, still, he still has a Twitter, but sure. it's not as uh, popular no. anymore because who, his people took it over. Who yeah. would follow that? Like, anybody that follows Ashton Kutcher like, and you remembered that you follow him, right. everyone should unfollow the guy if he's not, who, unless you're really interested in what his people mm -hmm. have to say. Right. Who the fuck wants to live to a Listen to a cunty publicist or a fucking yeah. like a, a a web management team. Yeah, that, yeah. that's what these celebrities Yuck. are getting. They're like getting the Iron Sheet. They're actually called <laughs> social networking so that's teams. It. That's it, yes. They're actually getting teams together. So then there's a group of people, they decide if the tweet's going to, you know, offend anyone, and if it does, is that okay for what we're trying to do here? Dude, do you know how They're many people... They're overthinking tweets now. You know how many people, like, a celebrity's statement used to have to go through before they released it? And now you get firsthand, right. here's what this guy's well, thinking at this second and gets him in trouble? But as the weeks go by, not as much. I mean, exactly. that shit is being shut down by most of the... Most That's of what the, I mean, yeah. Most of the publicists and the, the handlers. Yeah. Yep. 
So yeah. celebrities aren't going to leave it though. There's just too. We all want to be heard. Well, they're going to leave it. Mm. It's going to be you know. It, it's going to go the way of Ashton Kutcher for a lot of these guys. That's what I mean by leaving. Yeah. You're not going to get those pure thoughts anymore. I had to stop following a lot of uh, people, peers. I stopped. I, I actually. You were following like, peers. Yeah. I stopped following him. Uh, fucking George Costanza. I had to stop following him. Why? Ah, yeah, I just want to remember George Costanza and not fucking, you know. He's, he's not good. Yeah. He's just a terrible liberal piece of shit. Oh. I thought it was because he wasn't funny on Twitter. Well, that too. You know, oh. not funny. But um, Of course all those guys are liberal. Yeah. Every That's Seinfeld business. guy is liberal. I know, but uh, he just Maybe not really... Kramer so much. Well, but, no. But, <laughs> but the rest of them are Michael certainly... Michael Richards, yeah. One of your favorite shows of all time. All <laughs> those guys were uber liberals. Jason Alexander puts these fucking uh, twit, tweet longer manifestos up there oh man about everything you know that yeah i haven't read it i haven't read a twit longer in years yeah that is an, you just don't click I, on those. nope yeah. nope i don't click i I'm, i have mixed feelings when i read something like that like sometimes it annoys me but i i never respond to them publicly because i'm like I'm not following them. I, mm. I really do hold that. Like, I'm not, I mean, if you're following them, that's one thing. But I'm like, I'm not following them. They're not talking to me. Yeah. It's not my business what they say. <clears throat> and then people are like, what? It's the public. Thank you. It's like, no. What, what you follow somebody, you you should be interested in what they say. If you're not following somebody and somebody retweets them, uh -huh. yell at the person who retweeted it, you right. fucking cunt. Mm. Yeah, you're, you weren't supposed to see it. <laughs> yeah. I, don't know. I agree. It's amazing, but it's appealing like it's the public forum. That's like saying you're walking into a room. We're holding a conversation in this room. Um, and you realize, and then you stand there and overhear stuff and make remarks. Yeah. Well, it's like you didn't really mean to be in this room. So just yeah. get the fuck out of it. <laughs> yeah, Give a shit. Mm. Block the guy who retweeted it. Yeah. Hey, I don't want to follow any guy that retweets this type of garbage. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where it's headed. It's kind of. A, I think it's at the crossroads. I think it's trying to figure itself out. Yeah. Right. The same post up ahead. Twitter's mm. gonna be a tough one, man. Something will pat will come will come along, but man, it's an immediate interaction with all these people. That's a, that's a tough one to it's had longevity too. Yeah. Man. I mean, think about it. Been around for quite some time. Yeah, you know, three or four years. As yeah, far you as scroll down on pe some people and you see four years. Yeah. They tweeted something four years ago. I think I'm in four. Am I four years? Old? Four years. I remember talking about Twitter, and you guys were like, "What's this fucking yeah. Twitter crap?" First thing I ever heard about Twitter was some guy that fucking was in a plane crash. Plane crash. And and they said he had tweeted, like his Twitter said that, "Holy shit, I was just in a plane crash." Mm. And I was like, "What the fuck is Twitter?" Mm. And that was only three, four years ago. Yeah, yeah, it was like four years. It was ago. around before that, but it, it started mm. really hitting the masses about two. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Four years ago, probably That's four years before. ago, it really started hitting the masses. Yeah, but it was around a, a good year before that. It wasn't the Sully plane crash, asshole. Damn, I should block you. Let's uh, let's talk about the NYPD cop. So what's what's uh, this all about? Cannibal cop. Cannibal what? cop. His wife, like she sensed, like he was not the sex had kind of dried up after she had the the baby. And he was spending a lot of time online. Mm -mm. And uh, she went one night and like, looked on his laptop, and this dumb motherfucker left his laptop. Thank God he was a dope. Whoops. She's lucky she wasn't married to me. Um, <laughs> but even I have left my laptop open. I shouldn't have, you know. Yeah, that'll and, do it. And she saw this really weird website, like even going to like this uh, uh, torture website and hardcore fetish thing. Mm. But so she confronted him about it. And I guess he, I don't know how he got defensive, but she said after that, the sex got like wet, like he couldn't come with her. So I'm guessing while he was fucking her, he might have been fantasizing Sal. about this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Sal, right. Oh, Sal. poor Sal. But uh, the sex got worse. Right. And then she said he started asking weird questions about her routine mm. and encouraging her to jog at night and asking her, is that a dimly lit street or like the people there or just asking weird questions. Mm. So she installed a spyware on his computer, like a key logger. Oh, shit. And man, and then she got the mother load. <clears throat> and uh, she said he encouraged me to run at night and he became very interested in my running routine. And uh, she installed a key logger. 
The next morning, she checked the spyware and saw a lot of websites I'd never seen before that had pictures of feet that weren't attached to bodies. Whoa! Jesus. She went to a website that she didn't know about. There was a woman on the front page. She was dangling. She was naked. There was blood all over her. And she said she re she read all these chats he was having, I guess, with other people about her, the wife. He Whoa. wanted. He was. She said I was going to be tied up by my feet, and my throat was going to be slit, and they were going to have fun watching the blood gush out of me because I was young. Um, and she said that uh, her, one of her, like her friends, he was naming by name, like that he wanted to kill. And she said he talked about devising an apparatus so the mm. girls could be on the spit for 30 minute shifts and would be taken down so they would live longer. Wow. Like brutal torture shit. Um I, again, I don't know how real any of this was though. Right. But, but right, the, right. they said in the Daily News that uh they searching through his computer, they learned uh that he had attempted to contact potential victims, including one of his wife's former co-workers Jeez. to find out more about their routines and their jobs, which is uh like, he had been Googling all this stuff at the best rope to tie someone up with. And again, it could have just been this weird role play thing. Right, right, right. But, yeah. he, he, like, he was attempting to contact people. <clears throat> what a sick fuck. And I'm a dirty... I, and again, it shouldn't be illegal to fantasize. Ooh, but you don't know if he was going to, you know, make that next step. But he was, she said future he was, crime. It's a future crime. She said he was asking questions about her routine, but that could have just been for the fantasy. I mean, who knows? But that's yeah. Imagine being married to a fucking creep like this. That's Ooh. that's crazy. And and someone pointed out that he looks like Adam Ferrara, and he, he really, really does. does. Yeah. Let me see that picture. <laughs> hey there, pal. I'm yeah. gonna eat my wife. Yeah. I just want to cook her tits, pal. <laughs> 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 gonna drive a fast car over her tits and then cook them. What's the guy's crime, by the way? Besides I don't know. being incredibly creepy. I honestly don't know. I don't know what he's being charged obviously with. Obviously, out of his mind. Yeah, he might not have really committed a crime. Yeah. Is he being charged with... Um, I'm sure they can find something. Yeah, conspiring like conspiring to? Conspiring to commit a murder or... Yeah. I'm sure they'll find something out of all that, but... Mm. That's a guy I hope loses his job. That, you don't want that guy carrying a gun? No. He, is he still a cop? I don't know. I mean, maybe he must be on. He must be on leave. But cannibal cop. Hopefully, he'll kill himself. Cannibal cop. I know I say that a lot, but like the guys like this, it's like if you're really online talking about cutting your wife's throat. Yeah. And like you're asking her, you're just a psychopath. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's gonna you're be problems. Fucking nuts. There's gonna be problems. I know. I've talked about some dirty things. Ooh. But how do you get turned on? Like thinking about. Your wife bleeding like I don't. I can see why that would make a person laugh. Yeah, you know, it would make you applaud. <laughs> Jimmy does uh, th think about dirty things. Yeah, you know, can you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can. Well, the, tell me the one you were talking about yesterday on the way. Home. Oh yeah, I, 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 you made me laugh so hard yesterday. I, I'll just say no. Nah, I, I don't want to. I'll, I'll just say I've fantasized. <laughs> His fantasies get a little crazy. A little dark sometimes. <laughs> oh boy. A little dark. Yeah. But I guess I can see how that could spiral out of control. I guess I could understand that. Right. But, uh, where you, you know, you start to, like, if a woman, like, well, and again, this is actually years ago. I don't know what to say, but it was just a, it's a dark fantasy. <laughs> okay, I wasn't oh, sure. Oh, it's a little dark. Yeah, I'll tell you all. I, I didn't think, I, I didn't think anything <clears throat> crazy. But yeah, yeah. I didn't think any differently about you. I, it's obvious you were in a fantasy Just being situation. dirty, but the idea of doing it never occurred to me. But it's, I understand how a dark fantasy like that. Can you, mm -hmm. yeah. Jimmy, uh, the best, the punchline is the best part where she... Just stopped talking to me. <laughs> yeah, it got too weird. <laughs> she, but never, I can, she never talked to Jimmy again. I, That's how weird he got it. <laughs> I can not see, in a, not in a bad way, no, like we're talking no, no, about no, here, like certainly. Like <laughs> but I see how dark stuff. Like I can be very dark, like like really fucking in fantasy with a girl. If we get into that fucking weird zone, right. where we just keep going. Um, yeah. Yes, man. Like fucking really weird. But I know the idea of doing those things is incomprehensible. Does it need a safe word? No, 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 no. no okay. We're texting. <laughs> Oh, text. We're talking, not in person. Yeah, well, oh, okay. But he wow. went a little too far, and she never talked to him again. Oh. What about the footage of the furry convention? The we, lo we love uh, furry talk. That's only that's that's furry. Gonna be... Oh, furry! I think you said furry. furry. Oh, f u r r y furry. The furry thing will be a quick one. That's fine. 
This is the the people that what dress up as like stuffed animals and have sex and stuff. Yeah, they did a furry but, convention in Texas. But they took themselves very seriously because we were trying to get Sam to go into cover, and they uh, they wouldn't have it. They yeah, were, yeah, that's yeah. bullshit. It couldn't happen, but. They were pissed. What a bunch of weirdos. Yeah, but they, don't, they <laughs> oh, take it very God. seriously, man. What, I, I don't understand this one at all. No. Some lady complained because she brought her kids to a hotel. Uh-huh. Right. And this furry convention, convention was happening while she was there with her kids. The kids don't understand that they're perverts. They probably think it's fun. Like, yeah, look at the big yeah. animals. Why do they have the holes cut in the back of their costumes? <laughs> Mommy, why is the bunny's hiney showing? <laughs> <laughs> I see his his coolie. Yeah, they're, why is the bunny's <laughs> carrot sticking out, Mommy? <laughs> their heinies and their genitals yeah. Yeah, are uncovered yeah. for all to see. What, what, what's the big thing about this very... Th- what is it? They're about? douchebags. <laughs> uh, this one's extremely weird. Yeah. yeah, it's not as bad as a cannibal. After the cannibal cop, it's like, oh, just a nice That's story. Yeah, yeah. Instead, I want to cut their wife's throat and jerk off to it. Yeah. But why would you get turned on by uh, dress up like this? I don't know. Does this go back to something that happened when you were really young? Yeah, I think it's a childhood thing. It probably has something to do with stuffed animals in your uh, bed or yeah, something oh, like that. Yeah. Oh, boy, I bet. Not just stuffed animals in your bed. Stuffed animals something in your bed and, and an uncle. Like rubbing your teddy yeah. bear on your dick or something. Oh. Yeah. Mm. You know. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah, you rubbed So what's this? This is just like, I just found this video f- that people at a furry convention did, and I thought you guys would want to see Absolutely. how the shit goes down. Yeah, let's see this. So it's in the uh, lobby of a hotel? It's all over the place, yeah. Convention of unacceptable adults scars one hotel guest cheerleading children for life. Oh, uh, one of those cheerleading conventions was in the same hotel as the furry convention? Yeah, I guess. Uh. And then she wrote this letter, but more importantly, I just want to show you the video. Okay. Kids, look! <laughs> hey, Kiana. What? Dad. All right. That's just, oh, scary. I love ice. <laughs> this is going to be so good. I'm getting heavy breathing in my ear. <laughs> Furry Fiesta 2012. Furry Fiesta, yeah. A bunch of dickheads. What is wrong with these fucking just dancing in costumes? Weirdos, yeah. Fucking stinky costumes. Oh, I bet they reek. They're probably all ugly, and that's why they want to be in costumes. Oh, I wish I looked like a giant possum. <clears throat> are you an idiot? Uh, How great would a fucking good fire be? Right, like a great white fire at the door. <laughs> all their costumes are so flammable. Are they just melting on them? Oh yeah. Horribly. Could someone call that one dressed like an ape? <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Could someone call up and explain uh, this shit to us, please? I know we have a few furries out there. What's the attraction to this whole thing? Is it like living online? Uh, Maybe. Yeah. No, this is at least more personal, though. At least you're interacting and getting in the car. But you don't really like what you look like, so this is a way to get around that? No, no, no. This is some fetish, definitely. Yeah, it's more than costumes because it's, they gotta be furry. Like they gotta be like animals or fluffy. And, yeah, no, I understand you know. that. Yeah, certainly, it's like stuffed animals. It has to be that type of genre. Yeah. Of dressing up. I know we have some people that listen to the show that are into that. You gotta call the show. Mm-hmm. I wanna know what the attraction is. Mm. It's so weird when it like it just fe- sexuality combined with that just gets doesn't fucking weird. Yeah. It's, now it's just weird. There were there were some fucking like a rave. What the hell's going on? It's a furry rave. And and, and they're like sweating in their dumb suits. But they won't take them off. No. Yeah. How do you get your ass eaten if you get your suit on? Yeah. Oh, imagine how nasty it would oh, be. Tell them. Imagine. Don't... We don't have to imagine. The Philly Fanatic. We always go back uh, to that. Oh, yeah. We were broadcast live at YSP uh, in Philly, and they, uh, you know, to go local, they brought in the Philly Fanatic, and his fucking yeah. suit, costume, whatever the fuck, smelled mm. horrendous. Remember how bad that terrible. smelled? Terrible. You get your ass eaten, you're... People spit out the little furs. <laughs> you get your dumb fucking whatever you're at, your funny costume. Grown ups. We got Dustin on the line. Dustin? Oh, great. So what? He's working at home. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin. It's, it's Justin. How are you guys? Doing? Justin, what's oh, up? Justin. Oh, well, that's different. Where were you last when night? I was you just in got... college, I had a roommate who was a furry. <laughs> this guy was fucking creepy as shit. Uh, I asked him to explain it to me one time because I, I, you know, like you guys, I was like, what the fuck is this all about? So he tells me that he, honest to God, believes in his mind that he is an animal spirit trapped in a human body. Uh. And that by being a furry and, you know, dressing up and, I don't know, having fucking kinky sex in a, in a suit, 
uh, you know, that he's actually expressing his inner animal self that he can't <sighs> otherwise do. Weirdos. Mm. Fucking weirdos. Yeah. That's what really I say. Fun. All right. We got a furry fan, but we don't have an actual furry calling in yet. Uh, Nick in North Dakota. Nick. Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome Nick? aboard, Nick. We just talked to you. <laughs> Well, the thing with the furry, it's like anonymous sex. What? The thing with the furry, it's like anonymous sex, is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So you. So you'd, it's it's like essentially like a glory hole. Ugh. It doesn't look like they their suits have much sex access to them, you know. Oh, they got. They hidden. look pretty elaborate. They got hidden trap doors and stuff. Can you Flaps? think? You lift the tail up. Yeah, they don't want to make it look too obvious, but I bet you. Well, some, some... well you know that they have zippers in the back and the front. I yeah. don't know. Some of these look like they'd be very um, uncomfortable or inconvenient to have sex in. It's like it's like fucking through the mouth of an alligator. I I don't think this guy's uh, true. No. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a lying sack of shite. Right, we're gonna try one more, and then we're gonna move on. Brendan mm -hmm. in Connecticut. Brendan. Hey guys, I uh, I knew one of these furries in uh, college and met a bunch of his friends. And the vast majority of them, if you just talk to them on the street, will insist that there's nothing sexual about it and that they just see themselves as animals. So that other dude was kind of on point. But from every one of them that I've ever known, I'm convinced that it is because they're gay and they're just in the closet. So they get to have sex with somebody in a dog suit and pretend they're not gay because it's just some other decent thing. Uh, that they can do. Hearing all kinds of different answers here. Yeah, these, How about uh, they just furries. assholes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but the, I mean, the kid that I knew would fucking. There was a game, an online game that was for Cadia that was made to like cater to these people, right? Where you create your little character would be an animal and shit, and it was pretty much just the Second Life type of thing. But it was back before games actually had graphics. You know what I mean? Eh. Uh, but you'd be talking to the kid, and you'd just like meow and shit. It was the weirdest thing to be around that I have ever seen. <laughs> you know, I uh, I had a game I created for them too. It's where you show up in your furry costume. Yeah. And then as you're walking in, we have someone fucking smash your face with a <laughs> shovel <laughs> and bash your brains in with your fucking dumb hat on. I'm a wolf. <laughs> That's how your family has to fucking bury you. <laughs> Look at your dumb little costume. Look at a big skunk tail. That's <laughs> embarrassing. Oh, it is. Yeah. You're a big dog. Are you? Those are dumb looking costumes. I'm an animal, but I'm really a person. Uh, All right, yeah. we're, we're getting deeper into this world. Paul's got more info. Sure, Paul in Philly. What's up, Paul? Hey, how you doing? Hey. I just heard some girl I used to know. I used to go to those and, uh, so the people wanted you wanted the uh, hotels to put out litter boxes for them to relieve themselves. Litter boxes? You bring your own. <laughs> bring your own fucking uh, the, litter box. There was like a um, a big almost like kitty bowl in the the waiting area for them to fill with kitty litter. But did people actually use it? I don't know. I didn't go to the thing. Or was it there just for a prop? I I imagine you're trying to find a place where you could put your duties in a big. Pool full of fucking litter. What? <laughs> you shit in the you shit in the ocean. Well, I do, sir. That was hurtful. Yeah. I'm I'm punched out. See. All right. Yeah, that was very hurtful. Be all right. Well, I'm sure uh, they have a, a lot of fun. We're not going to let this one go. We got to you know find out more down mm. the road. It's, it's very bizarre. It's really strange. I know you're out there. Fucking call our show tomorrow or something so we can discuss this further. I'm starting What's to think it's about? not a very sexual thing. I'm you're, starting to think it's like these people, like, yeah, like go don't out think it's and party with this. I mean, I'm sure there's some people that are fucking, you know, well, I mean, perverts, like just like everything. But if I it's think, not sexual, what's the difference between this and Halloween? They're, Halloween, everyone loves to fucking fantasize exactly. and get dressed exactly. up, and that's what they're doing. They really, really get into it. So this is what just a reason to do it. A yeah, bunch they would, of times a year. It, they would never dance around like this and act like this if they were not in this stupid costume. Mm -hmm. So they dress up, and the, a part of their personality comes out, the asshole part, <laughs> and they, uh, yeah, and they're, you know, big man on campus, and, and until they take that fucking stupid head off, and then they're just the asshole nerds that they, uh, that they are. That's what I think. It's like when you fucking make one of those epic characters on, uh, you know, what the fuck is calling me? 
I do a radio show. To answer the phone. It's a two one two number. Who's this? <laughs> Oh, hi. I'm doing a radio show at the present moment. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Oh, that's Jimmy Norton yelling at Oh, back. God oh. damn it. Oh, it's a great time to call me. It would be at 2 p.m. Yeah, after he sucks a dick. Yeah. <laughs> He's right. got to suck Thank a you. dick. Bye. <laughs> what is that? People from the blaze. Oh. <laughs> a woman from the blaze. What's going to do? One of the show things that How they come have to stop. Brian's never asked me to do the blaze. I don't know. He doesn't believe in you. The fuck? You man? don't follow him. That's right. You just gotta follow him first. <laughs> you have to follow him, or you don't give you shit. Right. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, By the way, I'm on a block fest. Are you? Loving it. Right now, you're just blocking. <laughs> are you people? blocking a lot of people? Yep. Good boy. I love a good block. Some fat pig last night uh, gave me some shit. Some guy. Big round fat head with a dumb fucking goatee in the middle of his fat face, and uh, he was giving me shit about something. So I called him f a piggy fat, fatty piggy boy, <laughs> and uh, and made some kind of. Um, uh, I insinuated that he probably had trouble getting girls, which he probably does. So that was probably very hurtful to him. And then I blocked him. There, bye bye. That's how I do it. There's a lot of hate in this world. Oh, Twitter is really just a. It's a, it's a place to hate. Mm. It really is. Uh, let's say out of Jeremy in Indiana, he is a furry. What? Uh, Jeremy, hey, what's uh, up? Uh, the main thing behind it is uh, you guys are right with the kind of the loser aspect. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, At least you're admitting my, it. Well, I mean, my biggest deal is I have a very small dick. <sighs> I've had very very bad experiences through high school and I wait 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 how small is your dick how small is your pecker yeah this isn't gay by the way Ed. we just need to get oh, some boy. details all out. right because i am the gay police here how small is your sure. dick Don't i mean probably at. four inches mm. all right at least it's not like a baby penis like a micro penis hey 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 we're not allowed to look at micro penises on on uh, no. the internet no why but for me we don't actually have sex a lot of people, uh, we take like the, um, it's called Molly or MDNA, um, and it's just a lot of petting and rubbing against each other. Oh, just getting cum all over each other. Oh. Fucking, those fursuits are all suits. fucked up. Not even, just, just a bunch Matted of... Matted with cum. Uh, <laughs> they're not even coming. They're just a bunch of friendless dildos needing affection. Yeah. All right, that's pre-cum. So it's a lot of pre. It's just a lot of pre-cum. <laughs> fucking matting pre up your fucking... Sticking those hairs all together. Doing animal rubs and no one's going, you look like an idiot doing that. These are all doing it. Rubbing yes. Their heads. Douchebags. I think they make animal noises. <laughs> Uh, the thing with mine is mine's not really a big thick animal suit um i actually had this one made the head actually has nice air holes in it so really? I mean, it's really cool it's a great place for bullets <laughs> <laughs> jesus <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm sorry, sir. What is your animal? Which, which, which yeah, what kind of animal do you? What furry are you? Yes. Uh, mine is actually, it's kind of like a sheepdog looking thing. It's <laughs> real uh, shaggy on the back. And then the stomach is velvet lined. So, you know, when we're doing like the <clears> dry humping or rubbing, they're getting the pleasure on the outside, plus I'm getting it on the inside. Oh, my <laughs> God. What a weird world. How many, how many conventions do you go to a year? Or functions, uh, whatever. Yeah. I've only been to two of those big ones, but we have them local here. Like, uh, I'm about three hours south of Indianapolis. So uh, we'll go up there and, you know, get three or four, like, suites, and you just kind of go room to room, and there'll be maybe 15, 20 people in a room, and you just kind of go in there and... Do what? Do you eat animal food? Do you eat, like, fucking lettuce? Uh. No, no, no. We go out. Um, you know, some some people don't want to be known outside of their furry costumes but uh no shit yeah. a lot of us will 
take the costumes off. I'm not dedicated. I don't work. You know, I drive a truck and everything. I'm not driving a truck in a fucking dog costume or anything. I wish you would right into an abutment. Exactly. Or I wish you'd chase a car in your dog costume. It, yeah. <laughs> I like to dress like fucking like the dog catcher and gas all of you. <laughs> fucking euthanize you. <laughs> I would too, but not the kind of gas you're saying. I would love to drop a putrid gas in a furry costume. It would stink up your back. Your fur would smell like it. Oh my God. It would linger quite a while. Holy shit! Caught they, in the fabric. They'd be hugging you, and it would be going all like f out the back of your dumb. <laughs> it would be coming out your air holes. Yeah, yeah, your neck. Poor <laughs> guy's like just trying to bring some excitement into his life. Oh. Blown yeah. up his spot. The story behind it is uh, a bunch of us actually yeah. came and seen Jimmy in Nashville. Oh, really? Thank you very much. Without your costume, yeah, right? Because Jimmy would have noticed that. Yeah, he would have definitely noticed that. We, I tried to talk a few people into doing it, but we didn't think we'd actually be let into the club. So right. Okay. Yeah. All right, Jeremy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We got one more on the you know line. You know what you ought to do if you're a furry? You ought to put on a bunny nose and hang yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hang yourself in the basement with a bunny nose. <laughs> a bunny nose. <laughs> uh, Kurt in Cleveland is also a furry. Kurt, oh, what right. could you add to what uh, the last guy was saying? Um. Well, honestly, I mean... When we go to these conventions, I generally just go to hang out with kind of like-minded people. I have a bunch of friends in the community. So, I mean, when I'm there, not necessarily going there to, to get in soup, but just hang out with people who I've, you know, kind of bonded with. So. Ew. <laughs> sound creepy. Yeah. Well, people I've bonded with. Do you, you have sex with them? No, no, they're just friends. So yeah, Dude. who's like the stud at the furry convention? Is it the, the guy with the furriest costume, or the most original, or is it the big tail? Like, ooh, that guy looks like he's fun to hang out with. Yes. Well, there are some very good-looking people in the in these convention circuits. No, they're not. So, mm -hmm. Compared to what? what? Convention circuits. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys do? Like, you're like the week after the burn victims are there, just to the hotel people, like, <laughs> oh, you handsome devils. <laughs> <laughs> Are there like celebrity ones? Not like like real celebrities, but in that circle, are they like, oh, the wolf guy's here? Yeah, well, look at Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah, there's there's definitely there's suits people you know talk about, and there's bigger names. Uh, Plus, they're all dancing in front of each other. They're probably embarrassed yeah. to dance. They can just be themselves. Of Let your freak flag fly. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I hate this. I'm watching them dance. I know. No, oh, they're awful. And that's it? There's nothing else you could add? I like when a pretty woman uh, looks like she's wearing a, a dog costume backwards. <laughs> See? I mean, she has a penis. <laughs> and the tail is the penis. Yes, of course. <laughs> he's just, he's just <laughs> cracking up. I'm so tired, up. dude. All right, thank you, Kurt. We're going to move on. Let's see one of these guys right. drag their ass across the rug like they have worms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, he's scooting. Look, he's scooting because <laughs> of the worms. Yeah. <laughs> you have to deworm him. That's, that's what you say if you're caught fisting another furry. <laughs> you're deworming. Oh, I'm just deworming Harry. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guy's, guy's wife has no idea where he is. He tells her he's away from business. Yeah, he's got a fist up his ass. She doesn't see that he's fucking that he's loading a giant rabbit costume into the fucking trunk. <laughs> <That's all. Yes. laughs> He's got a wolf costume in a fucking box in the garage. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, we do have a guy who created a car that's uh, possibly fueled by air. This <laughs> will, he's a dead man? Oh, God, this will <laughs> never see the, the light of day. No. They make these type of people go away quickly. Yeah. Let's not forget about water car, uh, water car guy. Water car. Is one of our most famous examples. Yes. He didn't feel well after he ate at a restaurant and died of food poisoning or something. Or, or something similar to that. Certainly did. Very suspicious. And that was right after... Not not soon after, not not too much uh, whatever the fuck I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I was wondering when you were gonna spit that out. I was trying. Uh yeah, he died. <laughs> he yeah, fucking yeah. he died after he announced the whole um Water car. Water car thing. And this guy you don't even need water? <laughs> no, now you need just air. Holy shit. This guy is a dead man. Everyone looking to save some money on gas. And so when we heard of the car that runs on air, we just had to send our correspondent to check it out. ABC's Nick Schiffer tonight 
running on empty. It may seem hard to believe, but this rust bucket could be the car of the future. Oh, It'll no. never be the car of the future. Oh, listen to it. Big oil will never allow this to happen. What the hell? It's running on air? Are you kidding me? What, do they separate the hydrogen out and um, that whole thing? Probably. Is that what they do? Car of the future. So when I look in here, I see a garbage can. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. I see yeah. a piece of wood and I see some random string. I mean, this is totally homemade, right? It is, yes. Oh. Oops. Meet inventor Peter Dearman. His car needs no gas, no batteries, only air. What emissions will this car produce? Uh, it won't actually produce any emissions because it's only air that we're using. We're not burning anything. <laughs> Here's how it works. When you cool air to minus 300 degrees, it becomes a liquid. If you warm the liquid with the help of antifreeze, it expands back into a gas, powering the car's motor. So... Fancy a spin? Range is three miles with a tailwind. Top speed's only 30. Look, it's an early prototype, but soon there'll be a more polished package developed by the company that designs engines for McLaren sports cars. In 40 years of inventions in this garage, Peter says this one is his most important. He may just make the old gas guzzlers disappear into thin air. Nick for an ABC News, Hertfordshire, England. He's a dead man. Oh, no. <laughs> He's so dead. I mean, but he has it figured out. Oh, just. You, you would think companies would jump on this, but there's, there's, there's oh no way God. this will ever see, see it, uh, the light of day. Holy but shit. But he figured it out. Like, you saw the car. It's going 30 miles an hour on air. Oh, blimey. Someone's left a cake for me out front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is delicious. <laughs> That's scary <laughs> shit. You will never hear about this car. What's this fluid underneath me car? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's probably nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that poor bastard. What? What did they? That's a weird thing though, because how the fuck? What kind of energy does it take to to get um air oxygen to that cold? Mm -hmm. It's a liquid form. You got to think of the energy that it takes to do that. Right. You know, it's like people with their fucking electric cars. Oh, it's great. Yeah, but, you know, you're plugging it into a wall, and that electricity has to come from somewhere, and it's coming from a power plant that's powered by coal or oil or nuclear or something. Right. Yeah. Less pollution, though. Less pollution, yes. In, uh... On the roads, and they, not they, near the power plant. <laughs> they allowed the electric cars. Yeah. They allowed those. Yeah, they did. Big oil will decide what they'll allow. Because, you know, again... They're not going to allow these type of cars in general. Because some type of oil power plant is, right, is so powering right, to so charge them. didn't so. hurt their business too much. No. But something like this would really hurt their business. Oh, yeah. Got to think they got hit, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to think they have them out there. Who's that in the bushes? <laughs> you think he'll put a positive spin on it at first? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe they come to see my car. <laughs> oh, did they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's Lipton? He's, uh, we have him close to 930. Mm. By the way, I heard a little story over the weekend about it. Uh, you know how uh, we do that? That uh, old-timey actor voice. Right, right. Uh, apparently, it's called the Mid-Atlantic Voice. Okay. And it's a thing that was taught years ago. Right. So you don't sound like you're from any place in particular. Mm -hmm. Oh. You can sound like it's sort of from England and America but, at the same time. But why did it matter? Uh, because it was like sounding professional. Oh. Dennis Falcone would probably know. People thought you had to sound professional. Right. Yeah. Huh. So you adopted this kind of almost English accent thing. Right. So sure, ladies. Here it comes. So they were trained. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, they were trained. To do that to voice. talk that way. Here comes the Queen Mary into dock. <laughs> Wonderful. Everyone had a gay time on board, I'm sure. Yeah. It's uh, the, the mid-Atlantic. Is there clips of this online? I think so. Yeah, I think there are. I but did not know that. Sam Roberts isn't at his I, post. I, I thought it was just because they came from the stage or whatever. No, nah, it's some kind of weird thing. They were actually... A lot of... Um, they actually trained themselves to talk that way. Yeah, broadcasters, actors, and actresses, hmm. they all... Yeah. wanted that.
It used to be really bad to have an accent on the radio. Yeah, yeah. It was really bad. They, I think they figured that people with accents didn't even deserve to be on radio. No. Uh, yeah. Hey, Hi. Sam Hi. Roberts. Where's Sam Roberts? Hi, Travis. Oh. So that we can film Mr. Lipton. For Peggy Lipton? Yeah, so we can put it on the Internet. <laughs> She's on the Mod Squad. I remember her very much. Yeah. I was much more a fan of Clarence Williams the Third. They were married, me. by the way. I did not know that. Yes, she was uh, one of them. He's one of my favorite actors. Yeah. Link. He's Link. great. Like Link from the Mod Squad? Yeah. What else did he do? Yeah, why he was in he Purple be Rain? Favorite? I just love was him. He? he played. I like the way he delivers dialogue. Like he was in uh, Sugar Hill. He was in uh, Half Baked with Chappelle and Brewer. He was. And uh, he gives great monologues. Like I like. Yeah. I love in fucking Purple Rain when he's like, "Don't ever get married." Oh really? Yeah. Then fucking the next thing he sh fucking shot himself in the head. Holy oh, shit! Oh fuck, that was him. That's the father. Yeah. No kidding. Oh. Or uh, oh, he was in Fifty Two Pickup with Roy Scheider and Anne Margaret. Wow. <clears throat> and he was great in that one too. And he fucking smothers Vanity with a pillow and almost kills her. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't yeah. recall that. Yeah. Tony Curtis on Cary Grant. Ooh, that should be a hot picture. Oh, oh. no, 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 yeah. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Cary Grant. <laughs> Is this real? Yeah, it's real stuff. Yeah, it's British. There used to be a time where you could read silly stories like this in what? We, uh, World Weekly News? Weekly World thought, News? Yeah, Weekly, Weekly World, World News. News. I thought a man born without a penis is a woman. Right? Isn't that a chick? No, he's got testicles. He testicles. He's a guy. Oh. He's got, he's got a little fucking pecker or something. Oh. He's got a uh, baby penis. His oh. bladder was on the outside when he was a baby and had to oh. put it back in. Ours is on really? the outside, oh. too. <laughs> outside of the studio. Our bladder? Yes. Our bladder. <laughs> yes, we have a big penis. Uh, what the fuck are you showing us? <laughs> Let me see, Sam. <laughs> you just put penis in the search? Make that bigger. Yeah, Google image. Which one? This one? Yeah. Oh, Open Jesus. that up. That's unclipped. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. Jesus. I right, leave that there. <laughs> no. That's a good skinny far fuck it for for skinny head. I just wanted to clear up what it looked like. Yeah. Thanks. Looks like a, it's, it's, it's oh. like a, a cock in a diving bell. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the curtains oh, got closed. quickly. God yeah. forbid. Exactly. Close damn. the curtains. Yeah, I want to do. Oh, I want to do a documentary wow. on uncircumcised penises. Oh, long look at that. Thank you, you very much. Oh, he dressed like fucking Amelia Earhart. Fucking <laughs> 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 interns got the aviator jacket and scarf. Just for the in. goggles. <laughs> yeah, flew in some freckle fucking oh, cream. God damn it! I can't look at that shit. Exactly, it makes you hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, we got a British man born without a penis, and he's set to have one sculpted <laughs> from <laughs> his arm. Arm. Oh. He's a security guard. He uh, beat odds of 20 Meet million us. to one. He must be a great fucking security guard, though, because he's so cranky all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, I was just... Stop! <laughs> what do you mean he's beating odds? It says beat odds of 20 million to one when he was born with fully functioning testicles but no manhood. Is that beating the odds? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. That would be a curse. Exactly. Can't, Can't beat, beat anything else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he beats the odds, his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Everything but his meat. God, Jimmy does know the story. With yeah, his bladder yeah. outside of his body, he underwent surgery to have it moved into its correct position, but he remained without a penis. Yeah, man. Now almost four four decades later, they're finally going to give this oh, guy a come fucking. On. Well, the surgery cack. wasn't there. He's not going to know what to do with it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Native looks set to go under the knife once more to receive his much needed organ. Doctors at University College London will try to fold a large flap of skin from his arm, complete it with its blood vessels and nerves, <sighs> complete with its blood vessels and nerves, into a tube to graft onto his pubic area. Nice. Wouldn't it be funny if he got a big dick put on and it worked fine, and then his first night out of the town, he got caught in a fire, <laughs> and his head burned, and he was... <laughs> and nobody wanted to fuck him. <laughs> like, like his, his head was just severely burned. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and nobody would go out and... <laughs> Holy fuck! That was a terrible. Yeah, like he got caught in some sort of, some sort of a fucking bar fire where his, his body got out, but his head got jammed in the door and burned for eight minutes. <laughs> and then tried to put it out, but they accidentally threw cooking oil on it, <laughs> exacerbating the problem. Oh shit! Oh my god! Uh, so basically, he's getting a penis uh, fucking grown on his arm. Uh, this guy claims to have had sexual relations with more than 100 women, but his lack of a penis put them off, he added. Oh, yeah. With one punching him in the face and another cheating on him. <laughs> wow. 
He took LSD and uh, ecstasy to cope over the years. Wow, that would be freak out city. Take some fucking LSD, look down and go, my dick's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that's not the... the no. I don't think that would be the drug of choice if you don't no. have a fucking penis. I don't think you Man. want to be on LSD. No. That. Take fucking Valium so you can just sleep. Yeah. <laughs> right. Take dream about it. Right. Take a hundred of them and some booze. Right. <laughs> right. Kill yourself. LSD. <laughs> yeah, a little small dick. <laughs> Very good. So they cut off a chunk of his arm, right? No, they grow oh, it. Or they grow they it, grow yeah. On the arm. So they, but they cut it. Uh, out and then they make it into a tube, right? With but all leave it connected to his arm. Yeah, yeah so it, it nourishes it. Would you wear so short it heals shirts? like that? The blood vessels and all are intact, oh, and yeah. then they shove that shit in a tube to continue growing. Oh yeah. So they probably shove it in a tube while it's still on his arm, connected. Great. Showing everything. No, I think they, they form it into a tube. They cut his arm. Yeah. But it's still, you know, attached somewhere, so it's getting nourishment. And yeah. then they put the part they cut in a tube, I'm assuming, and keep it kind of all on the arm until it kind of. You know, grows together and all that. I think they sew it into a round tube and then leave it. I heard they're putting it in a tube so it kind of grows. I heard they make it a tube. They make a tube. Well, out I whatever heard. they do, it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> we can all agree on that. I think they make a tube out of it and leave it connected with the veins and, and stuff so it gets blood while it heals. I hope they make them a large one. What is that? The skin is That's rolled. That's how it'll work. Wait, 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 wait. Large flap of forearm skin? It's only made of skin? Yes. It's rolled up skin like a Swiss roll? Yeah. Well, what's your penis made out of? I don't know, but there's wait. something inside. All right, yeah, exactly. Other than just skin. Hold on, hold the on. Hold men. on. Doctors at University <laughs> College London, this is what they say. Yeah. We'll try to fold a large flap of skin from his arm, okay, complete with its blood vessels and nerves, okay, into a tube to graft onto the pubic area. So they roll it into a tube. They don't put it into a tube. Well, it could They're be rolling in, the skin it, it, all right, it, into a tube. It does read the other way a little bit, doesn't it, where then into a tube? I don't think they put it I in a tube, I think you're right, though. though. You are right. They roll it into a tube. Wouldn't it be awkward if the only way it heals is in another man's asshole, so he's got to walk around for a while <laughs> behind some man <laughs> with his new dick in it? Would you do that uh, knowing that you would have a dick in the end? You'd have to. <laughs> well, it's the nourishment of the, the man question. ass. Who do you get? What guy do you get to volunteer? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's fucked up, because I thought they got some meat, like some fucking muscle and meat from the arm, mm. but they just are taking just skin and rolling it up like a yodel. How does it get hard for sex? A pump. It's probably fucking... Well, why don't you just use the pumpy thing? The pumpy thing. Whew, this is so fucked up, and then they cut it off and, and uh, joined to the testicles... He's just got ball bags, just balls hanging there. How silly must that look? <laughs> fucking, it's fucking hard. It looks like, it just like with the, with the little dent of the screw, it just looks like a fleshy tooth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. He's just got balls. Big dumb hanging balls. There. Mm. Big stupid nuts hanging down oh, with no droopy. dick. Balls look silly without a dick companion. <laughs> they look idiotic. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> balls are idiotic. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Doctor Steve is checking in. They'll uh, put an implant into the meat tube so he can get an erection of sorts. Okay. So they put a. All right. So they keep they it like hollow. A pump device. Yeah, they keep it hollow so they can put the pump device in the middle. Of the can tube you use the Postivac? <laughs> Postivac. Nine more. Why have we missed out on the best part of life when you can have life with the Postivac? Is that company in trouble? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, they said that insurance will cover it, and they've been submitting, like, all kinds of uh, erroneous mm -hmm. claims to insurance companies. And, um, yeah, they're in some kind of trouble. I still see the commercials, though, so you could still, you know, jack your penis up with the old Postivac penis pump. Crazy. Postivac. How embarrassing. And they show the woman making the bed after sex in the background. It's kind of a soft blur shot because in the pure focus foreground is the Postivac on the night table. So oh it's there. And the woman's making the bed like she just had a great time with her fucking hubby who has to pump his fucking football dick up. <laughs> what they don't show is her putting crushed glass in his pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he fucking breathes it in and chokes. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's terrible.
U.S. face transplant recipient married a burn victim? Yeah. What a weird headline. Part of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Holy fuck. And what's the, that and, story? And got married in the same church where his face was melted in an electrical accident? Whoa, is that how he lost his face? Yep. Holy shit. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that guy was a transplant. mess. That guy got married, huh? He married a burn victim, probably because, let's be honest, the ladies weren't lining up to fuck him. Holy shit. <gasps> you remember that guy? Oh, my God, yeah. he didn't have any face. Completely yeah, uh, melted guy. his face, for real. <gasps> they just pulled the skin, like, over his eye sockets, his nose, nothing's no, left. Yeah, that's what the, the fire did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His breathing must be so oh rough, God. dude. I thought my nose got stuffy. That's got to be terrible. Oh, God. And now he's got like fucking. Oh, he's got. He's got I, Bubba the Love Sponge's face on. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he's blind, right? Obviously. Yeah, his eyes went. Uh, you know. Man. Oh my God! Look at his face. Did the goatee come with the face, or did he grow it later? I bet it came. Very with good. It came yeah. with the new face. I bet it did. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you're taking the goatee. He's like, I don't want to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he looks like he's always going, Oh, well, since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. <laughs> he's like, a honk, a honk, a burning low. His lip is constantly quivering. It's constantly up in one corner. Like, How are you doing? I used to have no face. It got burned off. Real, my face it was burned, and they put a new one on my head. Burning hold What? Singing, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lip going. Ha, ha, ha. I'm sleepy. <laughs> it was just going on for so long. Uh, I, had no, I had no fucking end game. That was so funny. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. That's what he looks like. So the goatee must have been real, and he shaved it well, down. Wait, that's how he looks wait, like wait. now. What? Jesus. Yeah, he lost some weight, and he took the shades off. Dude, that looks. Oh my God, he looks so weird. Yeah, he looks terrible. fake. He looks. Terrible. It does. I mean, considering it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, considering he should have no face. Right. That's pretty amazing what they could do. Holy shit. But he got his face from someone that used to obviously have a pelican neck. <laughs> they couldn't cut the pelican neck part off no, the new the face? No, the fat there. Did, I guess that all had to come with it? He's skinny, he's but got, his face is fat. No, but he's got the pelican neck. <laughs> yeah. The, the, you, would, you would think they would have been able to, like, not included that with the new face. Because his whole face is chubby. But now only his face is chubby. Right, because he's, he's kind a, of slender. He is a slender guy. Oh, my God. That is unbelievable. Can he speak? I don't know. Is there any audio of him? And uh, as you find that, New York dead last in personal freedoms. Yeah. yeah New York and surprise. California, right? And California. No surprises. Dead last. And roughly 1.7 million people uh, left uh, New York between 2000 and 2010. People are leaving because they know they could get a better life somewhere else. No surprises there. Uh, it's horrible. New York State is a horrible state. Is it the whole state or are they talking cities here? Well, California. Okay, so I guess it's the whole state. The whole state. state. Hmm. You got stupid fucking Cuomo now, and uh, it's just terrible. Yeah, we really are just fucking being trounced as far as our personal freedoms. Hmm. That that's wow. them being married. What? Mm -hmm. Holy fuck! Let's see. She don't look that burnt up. Look at her arm. Oh, oh really? Considering <laughs> what happened to him? Yeah, I know. That's a ten in the burn. <laughs> yeah, right. The burn community. Oh no. Perhaps he went. I, I don't know. What? I saw that. Nothing. You gonna say something mean or? Uh, maybe. A say? little. Yeah. No. Oh, that's a fake arm. Which Does one's she have fake? a hook? Does she have a hook? It looks like she's it might holding be. her bouquet with a hook. I think. Maybe it's a real arm and a fake hand. Maybe she looks fine. Oh! Oh, oh God! Oh boy, did she get? Fuck! To him. She got burnt. You can see, like, a pattern on her of some sort. Yeah, she got burned pretty good. That's the graphs, right? He's kissing her. He's like, oh, every kiss is an oh. open mouth kiss with him. Well, why would you wear an open back wedding dress, though? Mm. 
Well, you know. I guess he asked her too. Because they, 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 this, uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, <laughs> I know. Hey, why are we just uh, doing this? Uh, let them get uh, married and have fun. Uh, Good for them. Enjoy your lives. Well, if you didn't go bobbing for capacitors. Lives. <laughs> what? Oh, <Jesus. laughs> electrical joke. <laughs> How the fuck? Wow, man. What the hell was he working on that blew his whole face off? Jesus. Some kind of a something just. It was a fire, I think, or he just got shocked. Big electrical. Probably arced right to his face. Oh Yikes! God. That's horrible. Really, it was just horrible. All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna break, and uh, I think Joe Rose is coming in. He's starting a tour or something tomorrow. Ooh. Ooh. An actual tour? Or is he just going to a comedy club and fucking <laughs> Joe is big Tulsa. on them? Oh, uh, is it an actual tour? I can give you the info if you want it. Um, I'm not gonna give it now though. I, I'll be giving the info April 11th through 14th here in New York at Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> and then April. Hey. We could talk about this lunatic that's having sex with a fucking dog. Oh, it's a woman, right? Yep. Wow. Yeah, we'll get into that after the break. I, there's something very um, turn on, e- even sick shit. When a woman is involved yes. and does it. Like, guys you just assume are going to be sick, pigs. fucking disgusting pigs. When a woman is doing, like, sick, disgusting sexual shit, it's like, wow. Because you realize how fucking horny she must be. I'll tell you, I'm not into animal sex at all. There's nothing no. for me to watch it. But I've had a couple of women tell me that they get turned on uh, thinking about dogs fucking them or being mounted. And that? talking about it with the women turned me on. Like, watching the actual stuff wouldn't. No, no. And it has nothing to do with the actual acts. I think it's gross. Yeah. But the idea that this woman goes to work, this woman has friends, probably even a husband or boyfriend oh, or whatever it is boy. that doesn't know, and then she wants to play with her fucking pussy watching a dog fuck a woman. Like, it's so guts and dirty. Like, Imagine if the, her young children knew about that. But no, that's the beauty is nobody know. I've had a couple of women tell me that they have fuck dogs. Ooh, and she I likes know a good that, mountain. She liked oh. that. Oh, yeah, the one girl I drove crazy because I'm like, I just want to watch you get mounted. And she loved oh. that word that she wanted to be mounted. Wow. Mounted. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, How'd mounted. it go, Sam? Did it go well? Well, I guess her like uh, manager person's here. What? Who? Filming something? Who's manager? Nicole. Sam She's a manager. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the filming. Yeah. And so uh, she has to do the 411, but then she asked what the question was right before she got on the air. And I said, they want to know why you don't show your tits more on United States of Hip Hop. Uh-huh. Good for you, Sam. And uh, her manager advised her to go in after the break because she would like. She would like that on the air. Addressed? She would like that addressed. Oh, okay. okay. Is your manager so, pretty? Sure. Do we have to keep it clean? Are they filming? Uh, oh, she's ugly. Uh, no, I, I said tits oh. while she was filming. <laughs> what did you mean to say? <laughs> Please It was repeat. supposed to be implied, I guess, by the what? by uh, Sam. Oh. Wait, what was the question? Silence. I didn't hear. Huh? I said, is her manager pretty? And Sam was silent. And I should have just shut up. I said, oh, she's ugly. I, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hear the question. I didn't but, see her. All right, so yeah, we got yeah. that going on. Now we got to get back to... Sherrod looks good, by the way, too, on TV. Like, Sherrod is... Uh, he's very, uh, he's very good, good in these TV. situations. Uh, back to mounting, Jimmy. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, you. that's okay. We were just getting the Nicole uh, answer. I was just talking about dog fucking. It wasn't like I was breaking new ground on this program. <laughs> um, I but just, you got turned on by. Uh, yeah, and uh, there's something about that again about the dirtiness of the woman who likes it that is sexy. And I think most people feel that way. That's why we don't get as mad at school teachers. Because I think when women do stuff like with their students, it doesn't feel as predatory. It just feels dirty. No. Whereas where men are predators. Well, let me ask you I, this. You think it's animal uh, cruelty. I know that's a very... No. It depends no. on the size of the animal. If you're fucking a cow, my hat comes off to you. <laughs> you can keep an erection through all that. You're no, a better I man than it, me. I, I'm uh, more the dog mounting the woman. Is no. that animal? No. Cruelty? Not yeah. at all. I'm sure the animal no. groups would say it absolutely is. It's no. sick. You should be arrested. Definitely charged with being a silly goose. <laughs> <laughs> well, charged with being a good egg. Well, it's, it's stupid to, to you know tease this story now that we're deep into it. P- wow. uh, pictures reveal Maryland teacher having sex with family dogs, or dog. Uh, a Maryland teacher has been busted for bestiality after sick footage emerged of her having sex with her family's pet dog. Cares. She's 45, how, a little, now, how a they little they overweight, blonde hair. <laughs> Allegedly, well, she's a lot overweight. Allegedly engaged in a variety of sexual acts with the canine over a month-long period in August 2008. Oh, she kept it secret for five years. Now, wait, who found out? Oh, well, she was only arrested early this year after child advocate... what? I'm sorry, JCPenney pulled the ad from the billboard. Oh, God. They caved in. The Hitler teapot. 
<laughs> they had can a good you, thing going. Can you still get the teapot, though? Because all you have to do is tell the people, look, that wasn't our intention. Turn so, it sideways. Tough shit. Well, nothing like them. Exactly. Maybe they felt it would hurt sales, like Jews wouldn't buy it. No, it's like... sold out. Oh, did it? Everybody wants one of these. All right, so you got the Maryland teacher. <laughs> She's 45. Okay. Uh, you, you had a child advocacy center. Uh, their officer searched her home on an unrelated matter and found the pictures and video of the disgusting acts. So she was getting away with it. Mm -hmm. now, does her husband know, or was he like, what? Uh, this broad, uh, who looks after special needs students, oh. was charged with unnatural or perverted sexual I'll practice. leave her alone. Big fat lady who works with retarded kids and fucks the dog. How do you get arrested for, like, letting the dog fuck you? I mean, it, I it's know. twisted. I understand. Calls. I think if you find the video and the pictures, like you got to do something if you're an Why? officer. Yeah, you're not there for that. You're not. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I, like, I see who where you're going. Who gives a shit you're what she alone, wants to do? Big fatty. She could get ten years in prison and a thousand dollar fine. She's a good citizen, just banging the dog. It's cute. Some laws are ridiculous. It's hilarious. You want the dog to fuck you? That's your yeah, business. That's the and dog they, fucker. And they kept the dog in the household. The dog's still with the uh, the family. She's out uh, on five thousand dollars bond. That's legal to just fucking like take your dog to the vet and have your vet kill it. So what the fuck is wrong with fucking him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna ponder that. Uh, all right. There's another viral video today. It's the Domino's thing. Don't buy into that shit. That's just yeah, a yeah. fake fucking video. They're not they're not thinking about using drones to deliver your pizza. It's they might be thinking about it, but but they're they're, they're showing it like it's happening right, and that, right. it's the, not yeah. happening. It's they, not happening. They did the same thing on Tuesday when they were like Burger King's got Whopper things with you don't need to use like, yeah. that was obviously a it was publicity Oh, the hands-free hands Whopper whatever. whatever thing. Yeah. This but why is a why can't the news uh, like break it down? Mm. Because it's fun to do. Domino's is pretty damn smart. They uh, made this video. It's, yeah. a, it's a drone with a pizza box. And they're like, yeah, we're considering uh, delivering pizzas with drones. No, they're not. They, that'd be extremely expensive. It would be like... And not efficient. The technology with these kind of little RC jobs isn't there yet to carry that much weight. Right. To um, go any real long distance. Right. Uh, and they're showing, like, this guy shoving pizza in a one of those pizza boxes, a couple of pizzas. Right. That thing would be pretty weighted down. Right. To fucking take two goddamn pizzas. Two pizzas are pretty heavy. Yeah, and what does the headline say? It says it's, it's a great it's, marketing video. Yeah, it's on that's Fox what, News, and it says Fox News, Domino's Pizza testing pizza delivering drones. No, they're not. No. They're getting a viral marketing it's a publicity video. Publicity video. Right. It's a viral video that they're, they're not. putting out. But uh, <laughs> they show it going very far. That's obviously multiple clips of right. the thing. The the guy with the radio control might as well just have the pizza and bring it because he's following <laughs> along with it. Sure. It's a, there's nothing in the article that says it's just a obviously just viral marketing. It yeah. says Domino's Pizza <laughs> hired a creative agency called T Plus Biscuits to test the feasibility of. Octocopter drones that deliver a hot, delicious pizza to your doorstep. No, no. That's not what they hired them no, for. No, no, not at all. No, they hired them as a publicity thing. Right. Yeah, we need a, a viral stunt. video. Can you yeah. make one? And yeah. they did. But yes. the news is, you know, uh, talking about this like it's a because, possibility. But like everything else in the news, this is the more interesting story. This is the one where they'll go, oh, people will be talking about this drones. They love right. drones and delivering pizza. This will be like people will imagine like the, the sky is full of fucking pizza drones. <laughs> right. and, and that's the story that they want to put across, regardless of what the truth is. So just and that's lying. how the news works with everything. Right. Whatever the story is that's more interesting, that they think is going to get the buzz, uh, that will will get more um, press than than the real story, which is, you know... Uh, maybe they're just looking into a viral video. Mm -hmm. So stupid. It is stupid. And that leads us to another fast food joint, Taco Bell. I guess they're going to fire the the, the kid the that was licking the shells. Shell liquor. They suspended him and plan on firing him. So I guess they got to go through HR and all that it's to make Taco sure the firing Bell. is proper. If you t if you're tonguing the fucking yeah, <laughs> tonguing the product and putting it online. Sure. 
You're gone. Fired. And that's not a viral marketing video. No. No, no, no. I don't think Taco Bell put that out. No, they're not happy. Falcon that saw that, there. and Falcon said, that guy's goose is cooked. Aw, oh, shit. Falcon? Yeah. That's my nickname. <laughs> He's talking in third person about himself as Falcon. Yeah. Falcon wants to hear this clip. Is Falcon good? <laughs> Falcon's wise. Oh, Falcon's douche. <laughs> Sam, play this. Falcon wants to see. No clip. Oh, oh I thought it was a clip. Uh, Shell looking employee. An isolated incident, in Taco Bell claims. They, they claim. What else could they claim? It's a widespread <laughs> epidemic. <laughs> right. We're trying to quell it now. Please don't buy any more Taco Bell till we figure this out. We've taken it out of our employee training video. <laughs> right, right, where we right. told people to lick the shell. This what became, a dumb statement. But this became a thing. These these idiot kids are making no money at these fast food joints and yeah. figured out, oh my God, we could get viral videos going by doing some ridiculous shit. And right. then what were some of the other ones that popped up over the last few years? I'm trying to remember. Didn't wasn't there a, a KFC one? Were they they did some with their feet? I thought. Well, that's the guy that uh, stood in the lettuce, the shredded right. lettuce. Yeah. And then a guy but, took a bath in the sink. That's what yes. it was. Yeah. At Burger King. A, Burger King took a bath in the sink, right? Well, what's the big deal there? Well, you don't want to be naked in the sink that you're using uh, in a public fucking... But it's a sink. Yeah. What does that have to do with the though. food? The, the I think food, there's a couple others a out there. Yeah. It's the fucking place they cook the food. It's not supposed to be naked. Falcon doesn't want to eat in a place where people... Oh, God. <laughs> God. <laughs> Falcon. <laughs> Yeah. Now we gotta deal with Falcon on top of all the other fucking dudes that come in here every day. Horrible. Holy shit. I can't keep up. Falcon, yeah. We're doing this radio show with 20 people. It is. <laughs> Uninvited. Amazing. Uninvited guests all of the show. Uninvited. Yeah, Falcon just flies in. Oh, he, he does, does Come on, he? there was another fast food video that was hot a couple years ago. Uh, it was way worse, I think, than the kid in the sink. Really? I think so. Fuck. Uh, the beauty of the show, the listeners will come up with it if, if, yeah. if there is one. Yuck. So the Taco Bell kid is getting fired. And what is this getting fired and suspended and this and that? Like, with a shitty job like that, they probably wanna... uh, it was it was like when when I was working at these shitty jobs like that, if you did something, you just got fired. Get out of here. It's the new world we live in. They're going to sit them down and make sure no one else is licking the taco uh, shell. Licking the taco shell. They <laughs> want to protect themselves against any lawsuits. Yeah, they're doing a full investigation oh, before they fire the ridiculous. kid. It's obvious. Yeah, it's Old days, ridiculous. they just fired you. They did. They just said, get out. Not anymore, man. You Don't you think we got to find a lung for this 10-year-old girl now that she's like a national story? Uh, probably, yeah, they'll probably find Now that it's, it's a national story, you just gotta. I mean, she's lucky enough that she made the national headlines. I'm sure there's a lot of a lot of kids that are suffering the same fate as Sarah. But yeah. now, she's on Fox News right now. She's, what, 10 and needs a lung, a lung transplant, but she's too young to get it or something? What's she got? No, she, they, they, they're not eligible for adult lungs, I think. Right. They're only juvenile lungs. And I think if they said putting all the kids on the adult lung list would only add, like, 20 people to a 1,600-person list. But when you you, you so listen. your odds are better if you get an uh, if you're allowed to get an adult lung. I think obviously. so. Sure. Okay, so that's what the problem is. I I don't know what the motive is behind it, but I know that the the, the organization spoke up, and uh, they said they can't do it. But, but at this hmm. point, you gotta because oh, now we all know Sarah. Screw that. What about Brittany Minder? She's a high school senior whose tits are too big, apparently. What? Prom cover up. Team oh turned God. away from Well, a district spokesperson the lung girl. Staff helps students come up with a solution if they don't meet dress code. And check out this incredible oh, trick her shot. Are too big. Oh, my trick shots on TV. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, it's not mine. Wow, a kid on a Fox trampoline News does a back flip and up. sinks the shot from over 60 really feet away. The this Fox is, News logo covered it up. The Fox News logo covered the fucking thing up. Why can't I? Under <laughs> They're lazy, dude. I understand. Uh, like when I just make my stupid videos and I got my dumb fucking branding, I move it around the, depending on depending what depending on what's, what's going on, on, on the what's screen. on the screen. Why exactly. why can't they at least do that? <laughs> why can't they at dummies. least move their Fox News Live fucking logo somewhere else, knowing that it's going to cover up the trick shot? Their little rotating cube that they have in the corner with the fucking time right. and temperature on it and stuff was right over the basket, yeah. and they're showing 
a trick shot where the ball goes in the basket. They're the most important part. Unbelievable. <laughs> it sucks. So, the news is just terrible. They're so lazy. It's so <laughs> fucking... That's the most important part. At this point, are, they, they refuse to remove the logo. All right, move it around the screen then, you dummies. That should be a full-time job for somebody. Right. They have to fucking sit there, monitor what's on the screen, and, and then, the various logos and fucking tickers right. and everything. And then move it if, if you need it on right. there so badly. By, by the way, no one gives a fuck. No. I don't give I don't give a fuck that the trick shot was on your news channel. Right. I don't care. You'll see it online. Yeah. yeah. What about the busty broad? I guess uh, her dress, you know, the it was inappropriate dress attire, but you know, not for what she was wearing. It's the fact that her tits are too big. Ooh. Her <laughs> luscious fucking tits. Mm. Yeah. Whoa, she's well, a the rest big, of her is big she, too. She, Let me a, see those big breasts. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, Travis. She's a great big fat person. We only have yeah. one bag. Wow. <laughs> one bag of what? Wow. What's I'm, the uh, flavor? I cinnamon roll. That's a good one too. Oh boy, I don't, that's I don't a need... fucking hit. Yeah. That's a fucking hit. What is that? We want one more. You got to try one. What try an ice cinnamon, cinnamon roll. roll. Yeah. What you want are you me doing? To... I did. We'll try it again. You want me to ask him for the party bag? Yeah. Of the ice cinnamon roll? Yeah, yeah. it's my favorite one. All right, listen. Popcorn Buddha. <laughs> if you're Obviously listening. cinnamon toast. Wait, bread. we can only get one party oh, really? bag. Okay. How big is a party bag? It is massive. <laughs> oh, you don't need a big party bag. Then you'll waste it. We'll all get sick of it after 10 or 12 bites, and all of a sudden the interns will want some. Yeah. They're not getting any. And, no. Denny, and Denny's not getting one None kernel. for Denny. None for Denny. You guys want one party bag? Bag. We should get a party bag. I wonder if they can mix and match for the party bag. Party uh, you know how gross that would be? Everybody's fishing through it with their dumb, <laughs> hairy <laughs> forearms. I want to fish through the peanut butter to get down to the fucking yeah, whatever, like the that. shoe leather okay. flavor. I don't like the idea right. of that. Popcorn I think, Buddha, no party bag. How big is the party bag? It's fucking huge. You don't need that. Can we fit a person in it? Pretty, well, some of us could fit in it. Oh. Yes. I probably could. You're yeah, saying Jimmy, like, you could fit in the party bag. Yeah, I'm a little bag. guy yes. now. Could yes. I fit in it? Sam, yes, you can. Yes. You could fit in the party bag. Wow. Travis? Yeah. I, Travis I, I, definitely could fit in the party bag. Party bag. Sal? Sal? Sal absolutely could fit in the party oh. bag. Troy? Oh, Iraq? <laughs> so the busty uh, oh, prom Iraq. girl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, she looks like me. <laughs> Speaking of big tits. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, come on. He's right there. Oh. <laughs> busty prom girl. Her tits are too big? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, they deem it inappropriate. Is that it? Is that the new story? If we it's push a little play? strapless uh, fucking number she's wearing there, and she does have uh, ample breasts that are, um, you know, kind of popping out of the top. Before we make all our fat jokes, why is that inappropriate? She looks covered up. Uh, yeah, it's probably enough. a prudish fucking school. Yeah. The dress code uh, says strapless dresses are allowed as long as cleavage, midriff, and lower back are covered. Whoa. Cleavage. Yeah. Well, she, has cleavage. She, she has cleavage. She has a lot of cleavage. That's a good yeah, fucking... she's got big... G- and her father wrote a letter and said, look, my daughter's got big, giant, fat fucking tits. <laughs> Why don't you guys give us a break? Sign her parents. <laughs> all right, let's play the story. The father's... <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, what happened? Sam, what are you breaking? Yeah. Yeah. Fix it. She was fine. turned away from her senior prom because of her large chest. Come aboard, Kristen chest. Drew is live chest. in Silverdale with that student story we all know and her it. message. Kristen? Dan, the teen waited four years at this high school for her prom. Now she's yeah, hearing we all her do. story so that no one else has to suffer the pain oh, and humiliation. Pain. That is that awful. Did. When I put it on, I just fell in love. Brittany Minder's search for the perfect prom dress took her all the way to Canada. Well, I love the beading on it. But when Minder showed up at the senior prom in this gown, she was turned away. Turned in my away? opinion, I feel that Jesus. it is because I'm bigger chested and there is more cleavage that you fat can see. Fat-titted, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and those are fucking fat There's nothing tits. I could really do about that. According to the school's Jesus. dress code, strapless dresses are allowed, provided cleavage, midriff, and lower back are covered. Babies. It was blatant from the, po- from the start that the school... <laughs> oh, the father's <laughs> got to talk about his daughter's <laughs> big pants. <laughs> this is great. His parents have like no a little wiener guy, too. Rule. Yeah. They say their daughter was singled out Who for having a <laughs> All women are not created equal, oh, and oh. you cannot, you know, compare a a golf ball to a grapefruit. It what? ain't gonna happen. A girl like Brittany should not have to go to a dance in a burlap sack oh, no. because she's large busted. That's just <laughs> <laughs> oh, dad. Oh, the dad's got to discuss his daughter's tits on the news. <laughs> <laughs> Your daughter's tits 
that's our news, <laughs> sir. Can we get a comment from you? <laughs> comment about your daughter's About your tits. daughter's big fucking tits. <laughs> Her big fat tits. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> oh, my well, you God. don't want that. Yeah. Oh, wow. And he's uh, got that, uh, yeah. uh, as Brian Cranston would say, diminutive mustache. Yeah, yes. it's a very, yes. very fucking horrible little mustache. He's got a comb over going, very wispy comb over. It'd be funny if in the backyard all you saw were like trampolines. And you're like, wow, yes, he <laughs> <laughs> enjoyed that watch you bounce. <laughs> oh, does he fucking. It's an uh, impotent how, mustache. How great, by the way. Oh, impotent. Yes. yes. How great would it be to see his face if the newscaster was just like, why are you looking? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Keep or fucking or looking. If, he, if they were supposed to have. Dwight, Dwight Gooden, and then they looked up and saw him on the news. Too. Oh. No, but we're getting him. When? Oh. No, he's not on the news. He's on IMIS. Oh. No, we're, we're getting Doc Gooden. Well, uh, all I see is uh, Mad Dog. Mad Dog Russo <laughs> seems to be on the MSNBC morning show there, morning too. Probably talking about the baseball scandal, huh? Yeah. Is that going to stick, you think? Good. They might uh, suspend 20 guys. A ride for 100 games? Huh? Good. That's what they, that's what what are they finding now? I, I'm. He's a tool and a yeah, just a, Oh no, we all know that. A already. choke. Even the hardcore Yankee uh, Yankees fans yeah. seem to not like them. They don't really like the A Rod. Yeah, he doesn't know. Him. I think everyone's all, all in yeah. on hating the A Rod. Oh. <laughs> Look at this guy. I can't get over this all guy. Right, let's He's get back to talk the about. Fucking... Hi, sir. Yes, uh, this is K O M O News Four. Uh, we'd like to come over maybe and get uh, your your feelings. Um, about your your daughter's tits. <laughs> Can we do that? Can we come over and discuss your daughter's fucking tits with you? I'll compare a a golf ball to a grapefruit. It ain't gonna golf happen. Ball a girl no. like Brittany should not have to go to a dance in a burlap sack because yeah. she's large busted. <laughs> It's ridiculous. It's a, a district clip. spokesman says if a student's appearance Look, does not meet the dress code, <laughs> the gap helps students come up with a solution so they can attend the event. Yeah. I felt self-conscious, and I bet they took the magic out of the night. In Minder's case, she wasn't allowed in the prom until she covered her cleavage with a shawl. She only stayed about an hour. Oh, it was boy. tough being there after all that happened. I just. I didn't feel comfortable. Well, I smell I already had it. a huge blow yeah, in my self-esteem. Uh, I didn't really want to be there anymore. Oh. Minder says her gown was designed for a woman with a larger bust. But now it's a painful reminder. Uh, She's not sure what oh to boy. do with it. Oh. The best night of my life was ruined, and there's Here no comes. way I could get uh, it back. No way you could get it back. <laughs> ah, lawsuit. Uh, Here it and comes. She says she's worn dresses with a similar neckline to other dances, but never had any problems. Her parents now want a public apology. Live in Silverdale, uh, uh, Christine Oh, Cruz. God, do you think the father's like, can we just drop this? <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> hey, Harry, I saw you on the news last night. <laughs> it's on the job, fucking, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. So, your daughter's big tits. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was thinking about coming over. Yeah, yeah, what, what are you doing uh, well, this weekend? Well, you were talking about him. Yeah, so now we can all talk about him. <laughs> yeah. Why would you want an apology? Wouldn't you want to just move on from this? Oh, like you, say? you would want and move on. Enough. Enough news stories about my, <laughs> about daughter's, my daughter's big tits. tits. <laughs> when, did you, uh, when did you start noticing she was getting these big tits? <laughs> well, uh, I was, uh, I guess, around 12. Uh, do, do you have to call them tits? Yes. Yes. I say chest. <laughs> I say bust line. <laughs> yeah. Tits. <laughs> Uh, ruined our whole fucking prom night. Yeah. She was supposed to go to the dance, get fucking dance it up, and then maybe roll. Little Molly fucking get rolling. Fuck and then yeah. in the back of the limo, she was supposed to rip those open. Yeah. And, and her date everybody. was just supposed to, yeah, slide them in. <laughs> yeah. Give her the old California long stroke in between those yeah. fucking things. Because when a girl is hefty like that and bigger busted, yes. as Dad likes to say, yes, bigger busted. they tend to sweat between the tits and you can really <laughs> sink your pricking. Put it between the tits. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's bigger busted. I walk in on a lot of boys straddling oh, her torso. Oh, God. As Dad likes to say. Yeah. Dad oh. points out that Dad, you know how many times Dad's walked in and just seen his daughter's feet and then a boy straddling her and, and the fucking the back of the boy's feet like facing Dad? <laughs> With the boy's <laughs> white ass bobbing up and down. Yeah. What's going yeah. on over there? Yeah. What are you doing? What are you pumping towards my daughter's? What are you doing on her stomach? What's what? What? What are you putting between her bust? Yeah. She's a bigger busted girl. Be careful. 
<laughs> yeah, the mother's saying something about golf balls and grapefruits. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. There's a difference between a golf ball and a grapefruit. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, well. I'll stick my banana between those two melons. How about we talk more fruit? <laughs> <laughs> What a great little story. That's a wonderful story. I do like, I do like a good, embarrassing daddy moment. Oh, gosh. You've got to t talk about it all serious. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Apology. What, are they all going to be standing there? Mm, go ahead. Uh, oh, this is difficult, but... Um, well, to the entire family, we want to apologize for turning away lovely daughter because of her... Giant tits. <laughs> Not much of an apology. He's sitting there while the reporter's interviewing him, just scanning through. How do I describe her tits? What am I going to yeah, say? Yeah. I, I can't say titties. I uh, never really thought of this. I didn't think this through when we yeah. accepted this interview. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually talking about my little my little girl's titties. Mouth-watering hooters is not appropriate for the news. <laughs> <laughs> Beverage makers, no, let's X that off. Uh, and the wife didn't look like she was a bigger bust. No, no, not at all. Yeah, where did the daughter get those Skip tits the from? generation. Maybe she that, used bust, bust, must plus. Right, yes, yes. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I think there's some titty on this wife. Oh, no, nah, she's, uh, they she's just like she's got some. Oh, look at the poor dad with his, oh, his fucking egg-shaped head. He's, he's, <laughs> he's slouching in the chair. I was gonna say chair. he's slumped down in their horrible couch. Of course he is. <laughs> oh, you know how many nights that daughter was sitting on that same couch, giant. It's out. Yeah. Oh, that's probably what, he's not slumped down. That's what, uh, the tits fucking. Oh, yeah. think that's <laughs> where out the, wore out our the tits couch. wore out the cushion springs and everything. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Maybe the daughter should dance at the local club to bring some money home so uh, she can get a better what? couch. You got to use your assets, then, mm. right? Yes. He's just so, like a little wiener man, but he loves tits. He just <laughs> he loves um, having giant tits around him. Do you know the problems he's had with that daughter since she blossomed like that? <laughs> Like, like, obviously, the neighborhood kids are probably like, nya, 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 nya. you got big tits, and he's got to <laughs> shake his fist. Get away here, you kid. She's crying. It's okay, honey. <laughs> you know, we all have different shaped bodies. They're just bullying you. He They're in, jealous. He was in denial at first. No, you're 14. You don't need a double D. You're oh, the wrong side. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, just, you're a C. You're skipped a C right over the training <laughs> bra. That was just a goof. You see the father's shoulders are up in the air. He's all stressed out. You can, he tell, is you can tell by his body language. No father wants he's like to this discuss as he's discussing his girls. No little girls' tits. No father. Uh, did you see that fucking? Yes, I did. It's unbelievable. Story. What? Crazy, right? Yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> the story that annoyed the piss out of me is um, the uh, Miss Miss Universe, was it? Or Miss Galaxy or whatever the fuck it was, oh. that they're holding in Indonesia. Oh, and, and Why are they doing it there? Why? Exactly. That's what I said. Why? The Muslims in Indonesia, which apparently Indonesia is just packed with Muslims. You know how I know? Because Jonathan loves it. It's his favorite uh, place on Earth. Of course he, he does. likes going there. Loves it. Wow. He's crazy. Uh, of course. Miss Galaxy, is it? Uh, and and here's, here's what's going on. They're not allowed to appear in swimsuits, the yeah. bikini thing, which is a huge part of this pageant. They have to cover up because it insults the Muslims. Miss World. Miss Wait. World. It was Miss World. But you know what? Why would what? I don't even fault them? <sighs> Thank Why would you, you take the pageant I, there? I, right. I'm sorry. You can't fault Indonesia if that's what they're about. But to take the pageant there Why? is ridiculous. Why? That, that's when there? you step in and go, well, no, thank you. Yeah. We have to have the yeah. the bikini thing. That's what the Muslim. What do you expect Muslims to do? So like, we course. know they're going to do that. Yeah. So what is uh, what are they going to replace that with? They're covering them up with fucking like burkas or something. Oh, they have to wear the official swimsuit. Like with a sarong, they have to wear the, like a swimsuit that any Muslim woman would have to Can wear. You see what that looks like? I'm yeah. sure it's so sexy. Yeah, Muslims. They, they're, they they're, are wacky. That's irritating, but they're not going to be wearing <laughs> Come on. this. They're going to be wearing that. That's they, what they have to wear. In the Islamic pool? swimwear. Oh, how awful! Their head, it, they're totally covered except their face, hands, and just a little bit of their. They're wearing tootsies. clothes in the pool. <laughs> yeah. Because their men cannot handle looking at it. It's fucking embarrassing. As the guy just uh, walks out with just, you yeah. know, swim His trunks. Dumb hairy dick sticking out. Look, in 2013, i got to be honest, that's a lame-ass religion. Holy shit. Yeah. Sorry. you got a silly religion when you got to wrap your women up. How do we even... Do they even... Like, it's so archaic. It's so misogynistic. The whole religion is misogynistic. Uh, yet, yet, we're supposed to be... 
We're supposed to not be misogynistic ourselves, and even the slightest hint of it will bring the wrath of the National Organization of Women and everything. If you make a joke, a rape joke, right. anything like that, yet we have to be tolerant of a religion that wraps women up because their bodies are shameful or something. Well, they can't. Ha they just can't uh, handle uh, looking at it. It's astounding. You're missing the obvious here with this website. What's that? The women are modeling these uh, these fucking what do you call them swimsuits body bikinis they're called yeah and they're making it look like look how much fun this yeah, is yeah yeah they're having a pisser aren't they not acknowledging that that would really suck to walk around like that in a hundred degree weather she's, fucking all hot she's right. riding a jet ski but she's smiling like this is smiling. great look at me wrapped up they treat their women like shit like shit like, like shit shit. I saw a uh, fucking, it must have been a Muslim uh, couple driving yesterday, and the guy is in a t-shirt, yeah, and he's fucking he's driving his car, right? he's fine, and then his, his woman is in the passenger seat, fucking wrapped up from head to toe, uh, just I, sweating. I told you, last year we went on a quick vacation, and there was a couple with uh, kids that, you know, camped out right next to us, but the woman was carrying everything like a camel. The guy has just, it was a brutal day. It was like 95 degrees out. He's just got swim trunks on, no shirt, and flip-flops, and he's just walking down to, to the spot on the beach, and she's trailing behind with the kids and everything. Uh -huh. I mean, she's carrying everything. Yeah. And then he's standing there waiting for her to set up, Yep. and she sets everything up, and then he finally, I forgot if he sat or, or laid down on like a towel, and now she's in full burka mode where you can't even see her face sitting there just fucking miserable, yeah. sweating her ass off. But you, you can't yeah. criticize. That because no. it's religion, right? M you know. Meanwhile, it's fucking. It's. But wouldn't you choice. feel like an asshole if you were the guy in that religion? Course. That's yeah. that's what I don't understand. Is like you're okay looking like a complete asshole yeah. if you weren't a Muslim and you treated your wife like this. Yes, you would have the the neighbors would call the cops oh, on you. Uh, but but the only difference is that you practice a certain religion and that makes it okay. Well, religion, yeah, religion. It, you can't the, fuck a religion. It, it's yeah. astounding though because I, the treatment itself. Would be catamount to abuse. Uh, everyone around um, that day was just so mad at the guy. Like, are you serious? Yeah. Everyone understood it's their religion, but uh -huh. the guy in that situation looks like a complete looks like an asshole. asshole. But the fact that your religion, I've, I've had enough of that on all sides. Right. Oh, you know, the religion. That's cool if you're up till the age of 10. <laughs> but how about after that, as you get older, you have a choice. Yeah. If you want to stick with it or if you want to fucking move along. Right. So if you stick with it, and this is all the religions, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm sick of it. Well, you know, religion. Uh, so what? How can you base your life uh, uh, and, and make that kind of sacrifice to a man? Uh, and have any self-respect? They, they don't know based any better. On some magical, mystical Cause, story. Because they don't know any better. They were they were brought up in it. It's a, it's it really is abuse. This is why religious people are, can be really irritating. Yeah. Because they attack gays who really are born a certain way, and they, they're they're terrible. You as religious people are making a choice to remain religious. Right. right. It's not you're not born religious, you dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> you're making a decision. Right. You were, to be religious. You were born to be wild. You were born to be fucking All wild. Right. Born to be wild, right, Iraq? Making that decision, oh. but fucking going after people who were born a certain way. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I never, I never got it. Where's Eric? Look at this. Uh oh. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Iraq, do you got that? <laughs> 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 I love it. Nee, 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 ding, boom, 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 boom,